Hi, everyone. You should all be able to see me live and clear. And also, more importantly, be able to hear me. What an exciting, busy day. Uh, uh, I've had a rough, cold all day. But nevertheless, this market's been too interesting, too volatile, too, uh, too much filled with opportunity to miss. So let me know that you can all hear me. Grab a pen and paper. Grab some water to drink. But most importantly, like I said, just make sure you let me know that you can indeed hear me. You should be able to see me in a little... Uh, uh, video camera as well on the webcam. Uh, we've got a lot of information packed into this webinar. So uh, I want to kick off with it straight away. So as I hear, and the other thing is, I want you to tell me also not just uh, that you can see and hear me, but I also want you to let me know uh, where you're from, okay? Because we're going to get chatting, we're going to get going uh, uh, with this, and I want everybody to be able to do that. So just tap into there. Brilliant. You can all see and hear me. I can see the names coming in through now. That's fantastic. So let me kick off with uh, uh, <clears throat> with it all. Uh, and like I said, I'm really excited about this one because there's so much going on. Um, that's me. Look, uh, uh, being in the press, actually, I don't know if you saw today's Financial Times. We were into my company, Profidium, was in today's Financial Times in the letters section talking about Brexit. That's me on the BBC banging on about Brexit. I'm going to give you the best bits in this webinar in terms of the inside information. We see what's happening, where the trading opportunities are, and what you might want to do with all of that. We're also going to show you some live trades like uh, this one. This is euro dollar. Uh, and you don't need to be a specialist on euros or dollars or the macro economy. We're going to show you a simple way to do these things. We're short at the moment. We'll come back to that. Uh, the green arrows, whenever you see that, means long positions were triggered. Uh, and I'll explain why. Okay. And the red arrows mean short positions. So I'll explain all of that. So we're going to see some live trades. We're going to look at indices, equities, stocks, <clears throat> US, UK stocks, European stocks, uh, Forex. We're going to look at some crypto as well and give you the best strategies so that you can simplify your trading. Simplify, simplify, simplify is the most important piece of information I can give you. Also, what I can tell you is some of you may have seen me. This is how you've got the email. Uh, I can see a lot of you are from London, Surrey. Uh, uh, Trevor, this is live. Okay, you're going to see that with some of the prices that we're going to have on air in a second, okay? Uh, uh, some of you will have seen me at the recent London Investor Show and in Manchester. I'm going to give you the best bits of information from all of there. No worries, Earthjeet. No worries, and Kate. No worries at all. Look, especially in this market. It. The markets are more irrational than ever. You only need to look at the people pulling the strings like Mr. Trump. They're faster than ever. So we're going to make sure we don't get locked in for too long because we can't. So we're going to see how can we be nimble. I'm also going to give you the latest inside data that I've got from the banks coming through my desk. Uh, uh, as a fund manager, you get lots of research data because all these banks are trying to and brokers are trying to sell you stuff. So you get to see a lot of research. I'm going to give you the best bits of that. Uh, we're going to try and use computing as much as possible, not just human analysis, so we can be stress-free, so we can be a bit more relaxed, okay, uh, as well. We also know with the markets, no one thing works. That's important. There is no one holy grail. There is no one secret formula. There is no one strategy. So how do we deal with that? How do we make sure that we have a process, which even though no one thing works, we can still make money? OK, because what works changes over time. So one day, one strategy seems to work really well. The next day doesn't work at all and a different one. So how do we uh, adapt for that? And because time is money, we've got to make sure we're not screen slaves. We've got to make sure trading is stress free and that we do not over trade. OK, hi, uh, Ahmed from Essex, Walter from uh, London and so on and so forth. Lots of people from different areas. OK, uh, we have started. I better put that in because some people can't see this. We have started refresh screen if you cannot see and hear. Okay, here we go. Now, next steps. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to simplify trading. I'm going to make it this simple. Imagine you did 25 trades per month. This is really simplistic. Let's say at most on any one trade, you lost 1% of your total trading capital, your total risk capital. Just want to keep it really simple to give you a broad overview of what we're aiming for in this webinar. Let's say you made 15 winning trades out of 25. So not every trade is winning. There's no way we're ever going to win all the time, all right? And let's say on that, you made 2% return. Why? Because we're going to pick a strategy where we make more when we win than we lose when we uh, 
lose, okay? So let's say, just run with these numbers for the moment with me. And therefore, you had 10 losing trades because 15 minus 25 is 10. Okay, and they all lost the 1%. That means you must have made 20%, okay? Because the math means 30% minus 10%. Okay, winning minus losing means you made 20%. If you had 2,000 pounds or 2,000 dollars to start off with, okay, then you made 20% of that, which is 400 pounds. Let's get conservative and pessimistic and say, oh, that's way too over optimistic. Let's say you only made half of that. Well, that's 200 pounds then, all right, in a month. That's 100% per annum return. Now, you might say, whoa, Alpish, I tell you, whoa, that's too optimistic. Actually, this is the maths that my mentor ran through with me 20 odd years ago when I was a private investor. I'll explain to you who my mentor was. He taught me trading. And he said, look, this is all we're trying to do. Obviously, we're not going to hit those numbers every single month on the dot. You might not get 25 good trades. Some months you might get more. Some months you might get less. Some months you might make less. Some months you might make more. Okay. The point is, this is the simple math that we're trying to get through in this webinar. So that's an overview of what we're trying to achieve. Most people on this webinar, they want to just try and make an extra 500 to 1,000 a month. Okay, you're not guaranteed that. Let's get this clear. You are not guaranteed to win every trade. You're not going to win anywhere near every trade. Let's be honest. But, and we're not going to make profits every month. The months we make more, we save that money for the month in which we make less so that although our uh, 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 trading income might fluctuate up and down, we equalize it by saving in the months we make more for the months we make less, okay? That's the only way to do it. So we're gonna simplify things to allow us as private investors. So I'm gonna show you what we as professional traders do, the bits which are relevant for you guys to simplify your lives, okay? So that you can learn from those things. So at the very best, you start uh, enjoying trading the way we do, all right? And within all of that, we've gotta make it stress-free. This is all the things I'm gonna cover in this webinar, okay? <clears throat> who, for instance, can you trust brokers? Which brokers can you trust? Do you, can you trust experts? Okay, which one should you trust? Should you trade? Is it worth it? So we're going to have a business plan. Which trading platform should you use? Preferably free ones. Uh, should you use a laptop, PC, iPad, phone? What should you do? What's the process? Okay, when? What are the best times to trade? I'm going to show you some of the evidence on that. What should you trade? What is lucrative? Are there certain times of the day which are lucrative? Uh, 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 what if you've got a day job? How are you going to trade around that? How much can you make? What's the least amount of money you can start off with? Okay, these are all questions people ask i want to make sure every single one of you okay is uh, 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 uh understands this excuse me while you hear me blowing my nose what an awful cold i've had all day apologies 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 okay how do you know when to take a profit how do you know when to take a loss how do you know when to enter david you're absolutely right excuse me trade size is a recall uh, uh, well, that was just a simplistic example we're going to go into the more complicated business plan later on in the webinar put into more detail we're going to go through us uk global markets trading brexit strategy uh, uh, what do 19 billion dollar hedge funds do that you can as well what can we learn from the really big one ones which are far bigger than mine yeah i admit it i'm small okay quick business plan for trading because you need to plan to decide whether this is for you or not, I'm going to make sure everybody gets two free trading ebooks. How much should you make uh, uh, on one trade a day or five trades a week? I'm going to just look at five trades a week, okay? How much risk to make? Uh, 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 how much risk to uh, make for each thousand dollars? How much risk should you take? How professionals use volatility to set stop losses to work out trade sizes and when your trade sizes should differ, how professionals use volatility to get profits. Actually a process so you're not a screen slave, uh, how to find entries quickly and efficiently, avoid psychology, so much more. Uh, 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 why losing traders actually lose money, a trading process to trade on smartphones and tablets, what to trade, what time frames, a business plan, all of this in this webinar, can you believe it? The best times to trade time frames and so much more. Okay, <laughs> all of that, all of that. Finally, right at the end, the Q&A, you don't have to say for this bit, how we sued a broker for 90 million pounds. <sighs> and what? Because I'm going to show you how bad brokers are and how they rip people off. Okay. Um, <clears throat> right, just have to send a message to someone who keeps saying that she can't see. All right, now. Quick checklist, close the doors, turn off the TV, don't try and multitask, especially you men, you know you can't do it. Uh, make sure it's quiet so you can focus on this. Make sure no one else is using the broadband except you. Make sure you've got some water. I want you to grab a notepad. At the top of that notepad, write down making money. Why? Not because making money is easy or guaranteed, no. Because when you look back on those notes in six months, if it said Alpish Patel webinar, November, you're just gonna go, all right? If it says making money, you might re-look at it. <clears throat> One of my mentors, David Kite, he was in the very first book I wrote 
20 odd years ago. And the reason I wrote that book, uh, let's say 20 odd years ago, was I wanted to meet the world's leading traders. Uh, and he was one of those, still is actually. He's in the rich list uh, here in the UK. Uh, and he said, we're here to make money. He wasn't ashamed of saying it, and he was successful. So I thought, why should we ever be ashamed of saying it? Okay, my firm, Profinium, my hedge fund, like I said, we're in the FT today, in the letters section. If you've read the Financial Times today, uh, uh, we're regulated by the FCA. Just a bit of background about me. We are... Uh, uh, based here on Brook Street, which is near Claridge's uh, in uh, Mayfair. We have a bunch of funds which are domiciled in Luxembourg. <laughs> Aren't we lucky? Uh, okay, but we're a British company. Our bankers are Rothschilds, our auditors, Ernst and Young, and our lawyers are Alan and Overy. Uh, some important information for all of you guys, <clears throat> okay, uh, uh, as well, uh, which is that look, whatever trades I'm going to share, I'm going to show you Euro dollar, I'm going to show you Dow in a second. Okay, don't just in the middle of the webinar. Here's the Dow, all right? My short the Dow, that red arrow means short. You can see, I'll explain all of these indicators, what they mean, uh, what, uh, why we sold at that level, 24th, 343, and so on. And red arrows always mean to sell, green means to buy. Okay, how we get those. But what that disclaimer, all that important information says is don't just remortgage your house in the middle of a webinar. Oh, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I've forgotten the name of the lady now. Oh my! Anyway, there's one lady who always watches my webinars, and she's she's been with me for a while, so she does do the trades, and that's fine because I've known her long enough, and she's known me long enough. Um, but yeah, we've got a whole bundle of uh, trades. We're short the foot, so you might think, well, that's not rocket science, Alpesh. Well, yeah, maybe it's not, but you know, we got our signals to do it. I want to show the shorter term time frame. That now on the five minute, that's the five minute bars. Why did I pick five minutes? Why do I put 30? Why do I put one out? I'll explain all of this. All this data is live, real time and free. I'll show you how to get it. Many brokers offer it. You don't have to be um, linked to any particular broker to get all this data. You can see foreign exchange. You can see European stocks, US stocks. You scroll down, that's a bunch of European stocks. Okay. <clears throat> Um, you can see currencies, uh, American stocks, uh, cryptocurrencies, for God's sake, as well. My God, there is so much stuff um, in there. Okay, American equities as well. Indices, gold, uh, and um, DAX, Dow, all the rest of it. Anyway, how do we choose what to trade? What time frames? How do we know when to enter? How do we stop being screen slaves? Okay, so what we've got to do, what we've got to do, my friends, is... Therefore, based on all of that, is have a simple process because there's a lot of stuff there. We've got to have a simple process. Now, let me give you a bit of background, just a bit, like I said, a bit more. My two ambitions in life. So, in case you're wondering, well, what, what's what's this guy? What's 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 right? I either want to get into that list, and I am nowhere near it at the moment. I set up my hedge fund ten years ago. Twenty years ago, I was at university. I met some of the world's leading traders, uh, which I was able to do because I wanted to be a full time trader. And I said to the Financial Times, I want to write a book where I meet the world's leading traders. And I said to the world's leading traders, will you be interviewed by me and be in my book? Okay, both sides agreed. The Financial Times agreed. The traders agreed. They became my mentors. I then went from being a private investor to learning and becoming full-time trader. And then 10 years ago, I set up my hedge fund. Uh, and over the last 10 years, we're puny. We've only managed to raise 90 million euros from uh, people like a a uh, Aegon, the pension fund, and AXA, the pension fund, okay? Uh, or I want to be in one of the world's most valuable startups. Why? Well, if you're going to do anything, you've got to be at the top of your profession, don't you? So either hedge funds or technology. I'll talk a bit more about the technology my hedge funds created uh, uh, to try and get into that list as well. You don't care about that. You'd care about how we trade volatility. This was this was me recently in the Daily Express talking about the markets. I'm going to share with you in the same forthright manner what my views on the markets are, which the media like. But also, look, there's just too much information. Surely, this is just from today. Okay, this is from today. And now we've got to look at tweets as well as economic data before it was just economic data now my god we've got to look at tweets as well for god's sake okay that's too much information there is information overload so how are we going to avoid information overload my aim with this webinar is it's the last webinar you ever need to watch the nice se last seminar you need to go to the last book you ever need, need to read i want to give you the full uh, uh 360 on everything so to the end, I'll make sure you all get two trading ebooks and uh, access to a free, free for life trading course. And which I created. Why did I create a free trading course? Well, because I have so much. When you've written so many books on trading, I've done 200 columns in the Financial Times, so many videos from my TV and the stuff. It's easy to put it together because people kept asking. I said, well, "Why don't I put it in one place for everyone?" And it's completely free. But I'll make sure how you can also get the free 
free for life. All this data, you see all this data, free live real-time prices, because you should never nowadays have to pay for data or for charting software, because it's freely available. Okay, so that's the other thing. And one thing I want to say to all of you is, listen, guys, you can be more accurate. You can be more successful than the biggest banks. This is data compiled by Bloomberg on the accuracy of the major banks when calling the market. And it is shocking. They are basically, look at that, 33%, Goldman Sachs, yeah. Okay, they are, and Citigroup, 14%. This is data from Bloomberg. And most of them are pretty, they're around, they're as good as a coin toss, 50-50. Okay, so I don't want you to think, oh my God, I've got to be in all the big banks. And if you don't believe me, okay, look, this is HSBC, all right, who were predicting where the dollar against the pound might be. And it was nowhere near any of those levels. Okay, so I just want you to know, we, because I've done it as a private investor, 20 years ago, I was in your position, just a regular student, then turned into a full-time private investor, and then eventually 10 years later, a hedge fund manager. Uh, we can do it as private investors. It's just that the way we've got to do it, it's got to suit our ability. Now, people say, oh, but I need millions to start off with. Bullshit. No, you don't. You need, with a small sum of money, a track record. Once you've got a track record, you can find people who will give you capital. That'll never be a problem. The first thing is, get the track record. Okay, so with the track record, you don't need big sums of money. In fact, I don't want you to have big sums of money. I've got Sabo who said I use the demo practice account. Damn right you do. Good. You know when you learned to drive? Did you drive on the murder way when you started? No, you drove it with somebody else's car, the instructor's car, in a car park in Tesco's, okay? And that's how we're going to trade really s slowly. Now, a lot of you are advanced traders. You say, oh, Pesh, I trade large amounts. Okay, my job is to make you better traders. My job is to make you better drivers on the freeway, okay? And I'm going to share some of the inside information I've got from uh, uh, the markets. This happens to be a, a particular broker. It doesn't matter who it is. And let me tell you what this is. The percentage of profitable traders, the percentage of profitable traders increases with the account size they have. Do you know why? Most people don't know why. The more money in an account, this is not me encouraging you to open a big trading account. I'm doing the opposite. The reason is most people don't realize you're more likely to be profitable with the more capital you have in an account is because each trade, if it happens to lose, will impact the account by a smaller amount because you've got more capital. Okay, put another way, make sure, and this all sounds really complicated, profitability ratio by equity size. We look at all of this. Let me translate this into plain English. Don't worry if you can't understand it. The less leverage you use, all these people say to me, oh, but what about these ESMA regulations? It means I can't leverage up to the hill. The less leverage you use, the more likely you're going to be profitable. The less leverage you use, the more likely you're going to be profitable. Can you believe it? Leverage is actually not your friend. Okay. The larger your account size, the more likely you're going to use less leverage. And therefore, the more likely you are to be profitable. Yes, I know that sounds extraordinary. This is important. You know this. I'm going to give you more of this inside data that I've got from the brokers to help you get into the... Uh, people used to say, oh, it was only 10% of a profit. It was only 20% of a profitable. We now have the data because the brokers have to give it. It's between 20 to 30% who are profitable. Okay, so my job is to get you into the 20 to 30% who are profitable. My job is to make sure you don't fall into the trap, which so many people do, of being gamblers. We're going to turn you into professional traders. Might not happen by the end of this webinar alone, but it will happen. And I'm telling you how we're going to do it. We're going to make sure... And this is what the leading traders of the world taught me as well. I didn't know they were going to tell me this. I thought they were going to tell me the opposite. But everything they told me was the opposite of what I thought was going to be true. Okay, first of all, traders trade small positions relative to capital, whereas a gambler trades big money relative to capital. So we're going to know exactly how much to put into a trade, what our trade size should be. I'm going to make it simple. We're going to make it effective. Remember our end goal. If any of this ever sounds too overwhelming, our end goal is 500 to 1,000 per month. Not guaranteed. Some months you make more, you save it for the months you make less, okay? A trader does a lot of small trades. I wish they just did big winning trades. I wish as a trader, when I spoke to the world's leading traders before I got into this industry, they said to me, oh, Alpesh, there's a secret strategy, which if we give you, you'll be right all the time and you'll make big profits. Bullshit. Anybody who ever tells you that's a liar and you don't have to take my word for it, Go buy Alchemy of Finance by George Soros, the hedge fund manager, and look at his diary in the second half of the book. He's only right 50% of the time. All we do is the 50% we're right, we make more than the 50% we're wrong. We get out of our losses really quickly, and I'll show you how, and we let our profits run, and I'll show you how. Now, that might sound boring, but I'm afraid that's how money of anybody who's ever made money in the world is done. 
Okay, I wish I had a crystal ball where every trade was winning. I wish I had a crystal ball where I only picked winning trades. Life doesn't work like that, okay, because we can't see into the future. We do a lot of small winning trades. We follow trends, many of us, and that's the type of trading I'm going to teach you. I'm not going to give you a master's degree in macroeconomics. I'm not going to say to you this is what's going to happen in the future because we don't know. Trying to predict the future will give you a bloody headache, and it'll mean you're going to have to spend your weekends reading The Economist, The Financial Times, all the rest of it, and you're not going to be any the wiser, okay? And take that from somebody. That was me talking about Brexit. Now, just because I talk about it on air, doesn't mean I trade following what I'm saying in terms of market forecast. I trade based on the trends that I see. And I will tell them on air, the trends I see are this, that, or the other. That's how I do it. And I've got to tell you, do not think just because somebody's on TV, they suddenly got some extra insight. All I'm doing when I'm on TV is beforehand, I'm checking to see, okay, Dow, right, we're short. So I'll just say on air, we're short the Dow at the moment because that's the way we see the money flowing and the trends. That's it. And and guess what? TV's happy with that. I don't have to give them some, oh, well, the capital account and uh, current account deficits uh, uh, mean that we think the Dow's really under pressure because earnings expectations have reduced quarter on quarter. And, oh, I can give that boring explanation, but actually, I don't think that's what's moving the market. Okay. Other quick rules I'm going to teach you. Never add to losers. Write this down. Losers add to losers. Okay. Loser, Trevor, I'll do that. Losers add to losers. All right. Um, we also want to make sure we start small in a trade, and then as we gather more profit, we risk that profit by adding new positions to make more money. In other words, if we strike gold, we reinvest to make more gold. Give me one second. I'm going to get something. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I had to go to the bookshop. 20 years ago, I wrote this right? 20 years ago, published by the Financial Times. I am the world's leading authority on trading online. So I'm going to put all of that information in this as well. I don't want you to think, well, how should we, why should we trust? You know, how do we know? And all the rest of it. All of what I'm telling you has been tested by the Financial Times, been tested by being published. Okay. And actually I stole it all from traders who were some of the largest traders in the world. I'll introduce you to them in a second. Okay. We're going to place Stop losses just outside the range of market noise. We don't want to be stopped out by market noise, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that. Whereas gamblers, they don't have stop losses, okay? Gamblers add to losing positions. Write this down. Losers add to losers. Winners add to winners. So I'm going to show you specifically in our business plan and on the screen where we're going to actually add to uh, 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 the trades, okay? And, and we're going to show how to hedge, okay? This is five-minute footsie. We're long on the five-minute footsie, but on the 30-minute, we're still short. So we make money going short on one time frame, long on the other. That's what hedging is. And you might say, oh, how do I know what to do? Which ones to trade? How are you going to pick them? I'm going to show you. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to show you. Why do we pick what we pick? How many should we look at? How many should we scan? How long are we going to be in front of the screen? I don't want you in front of the screen too long. Why? The longer you spend in front of the screen, the less your return on time invested, and the more likely you're going to do low quality trades because you've sunk psychologically a lot of time. Okay, trading so much about psychology. By the way, Tuesday, I'm giving a speech at the London Stock Exchange. If any of you are on this webinar would like to be invited, okay, just send me an email uh, at the end of the webinar, or I'll send you the, I'll show you the link at the end. I'll send you a personal invitation. It's completely free. It's at the London Stock Exchange. Uh, so it's a good opportunity to see the London Stock Exchange. If you don't want to see me, I just want to drop that in. I just remembered. On Tuesday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., so it's after work, okay, near St. Paul's Cathedral, London. A string of losing trades would not impact the account much if you're a good trader because we trade small and we add to our winners. We never add to our losers. Whereas with a gambler, a string of even three losing trades could see their account down 10 to 50%. We are never going to be gamblers, my friends, okay? And we're going to show you in this business plan how not to do that. We also know there are lots of fat, greedy hedge fund managers who've been making lots of money. So what can we learn from them, especially at this time where we see, this is since 2012, okay, right up to this month, right? Global stocks are on course for the biggest monthly drop since 2012. This is going to be the worst month for the stocks, for stock market. So we know we can't just sit there and buy some good stocks and hope to God, oh, we'll make money, okay? We know we want to profit from a falling market. And the way we're going to try and do that the way we're going to look to do that is simply this. I'm going to show you a lot of these charts, right? You see the up arrow. So how do we know when to enter into a trend? I'll explain my strategies for doing that, which you can copy. I have no problems you copying my strategies, okay? And you can see the trend moving up. Now, you, me, George, 
Soros and every all the rich traders in the world, we only have two decisions to make, when to buy and when to sell. We all get the same data, pretty much the same data. Okay, we might have slight differences depending on the brokers we use, but we pretty much have the same data, okay? I'm just gonna move myself. I'm gonna turn my webcam off because it might distract people, might stop the video coming. I'll put it back on in a second. He says, blowing his nose. We only gotta decide when to buy and sell. So how come? whether it's Euro Sterling or FTSE or Vodafone or Barclays or whatever else, how come, right, they make so much money? How come only 30% of private investors make money? How can they mess it up when they've only got two decisions to make? Okay, this. so let's simplify. Trader one, we all see the same prices. We've got to make the same two decisions. Trader one, private investor might make 500 pounds because he's got small amount of capital. Trader two, a wealthy trader makes 5,000 pounds. Okay, trader three, a professional fund manager might make 200,000 pounds on the same trade. Trader four makes a billion pounds. That's what's so great about trading. We are all on the same playing field. Okay, it is the best entrepreneurial venture in the world because guess what? You've got the three things in life that you always wanted. The three Fs, freedom, that's what trading gives you because it's an entrepreneurial venture. Funds, okay. Neil, you're absolutely right, my friend. I need lockets. Uh, I do apologize with my cold, but I really didn't want to cancel this webinar. Freedom, funds, or money, okay, and fulfillment. I need to make sure trading is also fulfillment for you. And this is what we're after. This is the holy grail. This is why the 30% who win do it. It's why the 70% who lose keep doing it. So how do we get you into that? And, and like I said, one of the things we want to look at is the percentage of winning traders grouped by average trading equity. Like I said, the more equity, the more likely you're going to be profitable. But first, I need to start small. We're also going to look at some background data. We're not just going to look at Forex, but some of the good data that we have, when you look at every single currency pair, okay, what we found is the percentage of winning and losing trades are pretty much 50-50. Now, that's not bad news. That's not bad news. You know why that's good news? Because guess what? The most successful traders in the world, the most successful traders in the world, they're only right about 50% of the time. Now you might say, how Pesh, a coin's right 50% of the time. How are they making money? When we're right, we make more than we lose when we lose. I'll show you how. That's our secret strategy. And you might say, well, that's no secret because you just told us. I know, it isn't actually a secret. The secret bit is nobody bloody does it except the professionals. Okay, people won't listen. They just won't bother doing what is actually not a secret. They'll go look for other things. They'll go look for people who say, oh, you could be right 93% of the time. Bullshit, okay? We also happen to know there are certain times of the day where it's a little bit easier. I won't go into this again. Trading winning percentage, likelihood of trade profitability, hour of day against just one currency pair taken over a period of time. Some hours are easier than others. 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. UK time happens to be, don't ask me why, well, I can think of theories, happens to be a bit easier to trade. So I'll come back to that in terms of which time frames, what hours of the day, what products, how we should do it. But the trading tech, um, methodology I want to talk about um, is really I'm going to talk about momentum and trend following. And the reason for this is this. This is Deutsche Bank. These are the 30 risks to the markets in 2018 they listed. I'm not going to go through them all. But can you imagine if in this webinar I had to talk to you about negative rates in EU, US inflation, ECB, uh, North Korea, US midterm elections. We've just had those. Brexit developments. Oh, Jesus, we've got those every bloody day. Okay. Russian elections had those. All right. All of these risks. We're not going to try and trade around news. Please listen to me. There are lots of ways to trade. There are easy ways and there are hard ways. For private investors, I don't think they should be doing just technical analysis alone because I think there's a million ways to skin a cat. And don't get me wrong, I like technicals. I like charts. I've been the keynote speaker at the Society of Technical Analysts twice, okay? Their keynote at their annual general meeting. I've written 18 books on this subject. I can do it. But no one methodology works all the time. So we've got to work out that we don't, we can't just use that alone. Equally, I don't want us trading around news because we're going to be screen slaves and we'd be gambling, we'd be guessing, and there's too few news opportunities. Okay, mm -hmm. so we don't want to be doing that. Instead, I want to talk to you more about how I think we should be doing it. This is um, Barclays who did my book launch, my trading book launch. I'm privileged enough to be accurate enough uh, 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 to have those kind of opportunities. I want to share that with you. So what we want to talk about is, okay, how can we watch the market for a short period of time where we can get our data for free, live, real time. You know, all these little, you watch that money saving expert guy on TV. My job's to be a bit like that, is to show you how to save shed loads of money, all right? 
Um, or here, this is sterling US dollar. You got the up and then all of a sudden it bolts up. Well, what, what is it? What gave us the clues? How can we monitor the market? Uh, what should we monitor for what time frames and so on? Okay, that's what I want to break it down into. Um, and can I just say one more thing right at the end? I said, you know, either the hedge fund or technology is going to make me the millions or the billions. Okay, if it's not the hedge fund, it'll be technology. Can I right at the end, and you don't have to stay for this, can I have your permission? If I give you great content throughout this webinar, right at the last 10 minutes, and you don't have to stay, tell you about the technology my hedge funds created. Uh, okay, uh, uh, it's one of the things I'm going to be talking about at the London Stock Exchange, because we want to, I want to IPO this, okay, technology. So can I tell you about the great fintech as a British company uh, we've created? as well right at the end put yes in the chat box if that's okay with you guys because only i'm going to do it with your permission what i want to talk to you about like i said is trend following trend following strategy has been around for ages look even two years ago 2016 these were some of the leading strategies in the world okay i have been involved in law cases to prove trend following works why they're momentum strategies based on short-term movements in because um this chat uh had to sue a broker and i was his expert witness uh, because the broker said, no, uh, uh, broker took his money and said, no, 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 his strategies wouldn't have worked. And I said, yes, they would. And we sued for 90 million. We got 20 million payout. Uh, okay. That's us celebrating afterwards in Vegas, me trying to look really cool. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, and boy, did we have fun in Vegas. Uh, you can imagine when you've won 20 million. Uh, my point is, can't trust brokers. Secondly, I might be one of the only people in the world who's proved in the high court as an expert witness, that momentum-based trading strategies work well, my particular ones. Because <laughs> he was a client of mine, and I had to show that, uh, yes, they do. Because what the broker did, and it was Man Financial, who then subsequently went bust, what the broker did is uh, uh, basically ripped him off. And I'll tell you that in the Q&A if you want to know the whole story. It's fascinating how this broker ripped him off. Uh, and we sued, and we won. Okay, so what about trend following, which I've proven in the high court works? What about trend following? This is why I did it. So 20 years ago, I got my mind got blown because I saw um, not just over 20 years, but over the last 10 years, uh, I kept a list of the biggest trend following fund managers. My favorite is David Harding. I'm based out of Mayfair. He's based out of the uh, little, little Winton Capital out of Hammersmith in London. Uh, he's worth more than 690 million. His fund manages 30 billion. These are all uh, trend following hedge fund managers. He's my favorite because he's British. Okay, like me. Man Group is also a favorite. They manage 68, but they've actually managed more than 68 billion now. But anyway, the point isn't, oh, they've got billions, but Arbush, how's it, how's it appropriate for us? No, we're going to look at what can we learn copycat. We're going to copycat people. If you want to be successful in life, all you got to do is copycat the best. Don't invent something new. Copycat the best. And like I said, there's three key reasons. And I've written about this over and over again. And the reason my books are international bestsellers is don't buy the books. It's 20 years old, this one. Okay. Fun. Uh, uh, where, you know, you're hanging around with the, with the, uh, uh, with the rules. The humble truth is I've been banging my head for years before I got to proficiency. And what got me to proficiency? If I had to sum it up, it's this, this image. Okay. 15 minutes a day or one hour a week, one quality trade per day or five per week. You can do more if you want. Target 100% annual return, 12 products that you're going to look at. Okay, now you might say 100% annual return. That's phenomenal. This is not in the fund. This is as an individual. In a fund, you can't get 100% annual return, A, because you've got costs, and B, because you'd be taking more risk than funds are ever allowed to. Okay, we're allowed to take next to no risk. But as a private individual, you can take more risk, so you can get a better targeted return. You're not going to get that every year. You're not. So you might say, well, wait a minute. If you can get that, you could be a billionaire. Well, guess what? Private investors don't have lots of capital. If they did, they'd be billionaires. So in the end, they end up having to borrow other people's capital. And therefore, if you have somebody else's capital, you've got to pay them the profits. So if you want to know why it is that as a private investor moving to an institution, you can't keep getting massive returns. As an institution, you're constrained. As a private investor, you aren't constrained, but you've got less capital. It's a bit of a catch-22, unfortunately. But anyway, the, the, the point is this. We are going to look at, well, here I've got nine screens. I could have put a lot more stuff. But I want you to look at, say, 12 to 20 individual products. The products you should be looking at, in a way, doesn't matter because we're trend following. When I go to Starbucks, they don't care where I made my money, whether it was in uh, uh, sterling US dollar or whether it was in the DAX, which, incidentally, is one of my most favorite indices to trade. Okay, my favorite time frames, whether you've got a day job or not, is the 30-minute or one hour because you get a signal about once every two or three days, which gives you ample time. Um, oh, some people have said they've lost sound. Sorry about that. Sound's still there. Uh, it gives you ample time 
uh, to monitor the screen for 15 minutes a day. And what you're doing is you're opening each of these windows to look to see, is there a start of a trend somewhere happening? Okay, like this, look at Amazon. Okay, now at the moment, and I've got a long-term holding in Amazon. I've had the long-term holding in Amazon since about 2000, all right? So every time there's an opportunity to short, I love it because the profits from my shorts will make me, uh, will pay for my long position. Got it? So that's hedging as well. So what you do is you pick a bunch of equities, currencies, indices, so they're not correlated to each other. So you've got lots of opportunity and choice. Opportunity and choice is the key. Write that down. The more opportunities and choice you have, the better. All right, but how do we know when to enter? I'll come to that. Don't worry. Okay, our average monthly goal is that. Our stress level has to be that. That's why we're not in front of the screen all the time. So which products, what time frames? 30 minutes to one hour, and I'll prove to you mathematically why that's the best sound, uh, best time frame. Uh, the sound should return. A lot of people are saying they've lost sound. We're still plugged in. Sound should still be there. Okay, a lot of people are saying they've lost sound. I apologize for that. The sound should all still be there. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm definitely on the audio. Now, so I'm going to continue, uh, just making sure everybody else can hear me. All right, good. Emmanuel can hear. Now, we want a bunch of products which are not correlated, so we get more opportunities. And we want to go long and short, okay? Um, I'm going to put that message up for everyone. Uh, uh, ba, 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 ba. Go, go reconnect if you can't hear. If lost sound. Okay, uh, uh, apologies again for my sniveling. Now, in a way, I don't care whether it's an index or not. Okay, like I said, this is Apple. By the way, an Apple, ooh, look, long signal, which isn't working out, but the short signals have been great. As you know, the text got a real hit. Look at that. Now, notice how we didn't get in at the top. We never picked tops and bottoms. Anybody who says, oh, look, I've got Fibonacci and Elliott and, and I've got all of this and I, look, I got it right at the top and out right at the bottom. Really tell them that's witchcraft or bullshit. Let them pick, okay? Uh, uh, we see a bit of a trend and then we get into how do we see that and where do we put our stop loss and where do we know when to add to our winning trades? Okay. And look, I'm showing you, that's not a winning trade at the moment. That's a green arrow and the price is below it. <gasps> how about you showed us a losing trade? Yeah. Guess what? Real life is actually like that. Real life is actually like that. Uh, uh, and that's fine because I'll also show you how much you can still make even then, uh, even allowing for losing trades, okay? There's something else I wanted to show you. Anyway, that's the Dow at the moment. We're gonna come through more of those trades in a second and how we got to them. We'll come through a lot more uh, in, um, uh, 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 we'll come back to that uh, uh, in a second, all right? But what we're gonna do, what we're really gonna do is using computers to find when to find those trends. Notice how we didn't get in at the bottom to find those trends because computers, guess what? They're slaves and they do a lot better, but it's not the only reason. Even the Financial Times has picked up on this. Robot or human, guess what? It's gonna be, we're increasingly using computing power. That's what we're gonna do. One incidental thing, by the way, just as an aside, I wanna show you, well, however you're trading, and this is a, a, a crossover several thousand trades, okay? Uh, uh, when, whatever your performance, this is how, because people ask to go, oh, how does the broker impact your performance? And there'll be periods, look at that period where you're going sideways, all right? Uh, and there appears when you, you, this is typically what happens. Profits move in, a, in, in sort of lockstep. The lower, look at that. For, for ages, you're doing nothing. All right. When you have 0.5 pips. So we did this experiment with three different brokers. Okay. Uh, so these are exactly the same trades. When you have wider pips like there, 30 pip, uh, uh, third, three pips. Okay. All that happens. You still make profits. Okay. But you'll get bigger drawdowns, see that? Instead of going sideways, you'll go downwards, you'll have longer periods where you're going sideways. So that's the cost, that's the hidden cost of a bad broker. The hidden cost of a bad broker is you'll have more prolonged periods of going sideways, you'll have periods which when you otherwise would have been sideways are going down, all right? Just so to understand this. Now we'll talk about brokers at the end and which are good, which aren't bad, uh, uh, but I have a score sheet on brokers and this is my score sheet and this is how I score them. You might want to take a picture of this on your iPhone before we go back into trend following and 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 picking equities and the like, okay? Uh, uh, I like UK, US, Australia, regulated ones, maximum one and a half pip spreads on all the major indices, okay? And this, I score them up and I say, okay, you get 30 points for that, 15 points for this. If you're in Cyprus, Malta or Gibraltar, you get minus 30 points. If I've met the CEO, you get 10 points. Been to offices, five points. 
Use them for 10 trades. Never trade, never trade binary options, okay, with a broker. Uh, 10, withdrew money from them and got it back, 20 points. Met the staff in person, 10 points, okay? Any total below 50, then I avoid the broker. If you can't add all this up, avoid trading anyway, all right? Okay, so there you go. That's how I work it out. So I don't have a problem if they're in Cyprus, Malta, or Gibraltar, as long as I get over 50 points on all the others, just so you know this. Okay, my mentor, who I'm going to now show you the trading business plan and the trading strategy of when to enter, is this chap, Bill Lipschutz, Global Head of Foreign Exchange at Salomon Brothers. So he was the world's largest uh, trader because Global Head of Foreign Exchange at Salomon Brothers made you the world's largest trader. His chairman was Warren Buffett, who was chairman of Salomon Brothers. And I met Bill 20 years ago when I was writing my book for the Financial Times called Mind of a Trader, Lessons in Trading Strategy from the World's Leading Traders. So I'm going to give you in the rest of this webinar the lessons in trading strategy from the world's leading traders, people like Bill Lipschitz. So in case you want to know, where is this information from? Why should we trust Alpesh? Well, it's not me you're having to trust. It's that guy, and it's in print in the FT, and the FT doesn't print bullshit, okay? Uh, and I've given talks around the world. I mean, some of you have been in my talks. Uh, okay, you'll have seen me and all the rest of it. Right, there are eight things we need to do. One is have a strategy that works. Now, notice how I, what does works mean? Works doesn't mean work all the time. Let's be really clear what works means. It doesn't mean work all the time, and it doesn't mean picking right the tops and the bottoms, all right? So the definition of works is not works all the time or picking tops and bottoms. It's also got to be simple and clear. So forget all your Fibonacci's and complicated stuff, all right? If it's Because I'll tell you why. You're never going to be right 100% of the time, okay? And you're going to be as good as a coin or slightly better because a coin is random. So given that it's five times out of 10 or six times out of 10, because you're never going to be right 10 times out of 10 or nine or eight. So you're only fighting for six or seven times out of 10. No matter how complicated you make it or easy you make it, you're still fighting for six or seven times out of 10 to be right. Got it? So we can make it simple and clear because we make it more complicated doesn't make us more accurate. In fact, more complications makes us more overconfident. And there's research done on this. I gave a lecture just about two weeks ago at Oxford University on exactly this point where I lecture. I'm a visiting fellow, for, sorry, former visiting fellow at Corpus Christi College, Oxford. And I still lecture each year at um, St. Hilda's. And I just mentioned and gave a lecture on this aspect there. Okay, and I'll speak more about it at the London Stock Exchange on Tuesday. If you happen to be there on 1 or 10, just email me. All right. We also need a stop loss strategy that prevents big losses. What do I mean by that? I mean this. Okay, want to capture big moves and keep losses small. The 80-20 rule. What's the 80-20 rule? The 80-20 rule is this. It'll be 20% of your trades, which will generate 80% of your profits. I know that sounds complicated. You can write that down if you wish. We want a strategy which, if it goes wrong, look at that. That was wrong. <gasps> oh, but she showed us a wrong trade. Let's be real. Because if you can accept that you're not going to be right all the time, you're going to be a lot happier and you're going to be a lot more profitable because you're going to be a lot happier. See, entered short, exit, any good strategy, like the strategy I'm going to show you, okay, should make sure losses are small in size, short in duration. Small in size, short in duration. Write that down. That's, that's what working strategy means, small in size, short in duration. It should also mean, down arrow means to short, that when we get a fall in price, we get a signal to say the market's going to fall, Right. As profits kick in, we can add to that position so we can start small and add to our winners. How do we know when to add? I'll come to that in a second. Rule number five, make sure you can trade easily. All these brokers who are trying to show you, oh, look at how much money we've got. Look at ours. I saw this advert from Saxo Trader and they have this all this music blaring. as I'm be a trader. Look at all these screens. Ooh, whiz bang, whiz bang. Guess what? Trading is about buying and selling, buying and selling. How come they've got all that whiz bang and still 70% of their um, accounts lose money, okay? And then you've got another broker who's got no whiz-bang whistles and 70% of their accounts lose money. It shows you all their technology is just used for marketing to sucker you in, all right? So, uh, and we'll talk about, and by the way, feel free to put into the chat box questions about brokers and I'll tell you if I like them or not. Questions about educators and teachers and I'll tell you if they're full of shit or whether they're any good. Apologize for swearing, my friends. Uh, okay, but some of these teachers, they really annoy me. Anybody who says they run a trading university, a trading college, you know, a trading institute, oh, sack them. Okay, just because you speak, you know, I've been to a real university. Sticking the word trading in front of it doesn't make it so. We just need something which any broker, I don't care which broker you use, which allows you to trade easily. Buy, sell, that's it, okay? Let's you trade, place trades relatively easily. 
whatever it is, and the ability to trade anywhere. So if you've got it on your iPhone or iPad, great. You don't need multiple screens. If you want multiple screens, go buy them. Amazon sell them for £100 a pop. Add as many screens as you want if it makes you feel better. Okay, and then we need a clear roadmap to rich. Sorry, I tried to pick a picture which I thought makes me look, you know, like James Bond and sophisticated and apologies. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, Dwayne, he's not. Dwayne, the guy you've just mentioned, is he FCA regulated? Is he regulated as a hedge fund manager? No, of course not. Uh, Joseph, I don't have a problem with them. Um, what with them before? They're UK regulated, not a problem. We need a strategy which will work whether you've got a day job or you're a day trader, okay? Um, so trading's like this. Let's get on to how do we know when to enter a trade, okay? And then where to put the stop loss and so on. Trading is... Um, obviously about how much money can you make. Let's, to, let's, so let's go through the business plan. Now, trading is a bit like driving. Okay. You've got a wing mirror. You've got a steering wheel. You've got a brake. You've got a clutch. You've got so much to look at and you think I'm never going to learn, but you all learned to drive, didn't you? So don't be overwhelmed. Oh my God, Alpish, it's so much to take in. I've got the indicator accelerator and all the rest of it. We're going to simplify it. We're going to simplify it. Okay. Uh, Havinda, really easy, really easy. Uh, and I'm a brand ambassador for them, so it's really easy. Rob, your your money will be safe with them. Still only 70%, sorry, 70% lose money, but we're going to look at strategies uh, uh, to help you. We're going to look at momentum trading. What's momentum trading? Momentum trading is we're going to be this guy, okay? We're going to be the guy who's going to ride the coattails of a market move. We're not going to move the market. This guy's Goldman Sachs, the one with the bowler hat, okay? We're not going to move the market. What we're going to do Okay, uh, George, no way. Okay, bullshit. All right, George, 3,300 pounds plus VAT for software. No chance, no chance. Um, uh, uh, what I'd say to you, Joseph, is try different brokers. I'll come back to brokers in a second. Mohammed, the answer is yes. Uh, uh, right, we're going to ride the trends that somebody else makes. Why? Because it's a lot easier to make money when somebody else has moved the market than try to forecast the market and stand in front of it. We don't want to stand in front of it because we don't have the ream of analysts and we don't have the capital to move the market. Even my fund, okay, we're tiny, we're minuscule. Okay, I showed you our offices, 84 Brook Street, Mayfair. We rent, okay, and we don't own the building. That's when you've got 90 million euros, and that's nothing in the market. And why have we got so little rubbish? You must be rubbish. You've, you've only got your tiny head. Well, actually, we go in after Goldman Sachs and we, uh, and we, uh, 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 before us is Goldman Sachs and after us is Morgan Stanley when we're looking to raise capital from pension funds or family offices. So guess who they're going to go with? They're going to go with the bigger names. Okay. Uh, 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 sadly, that's the way it is. Uh, I'm afraid. So uh, uh, let me show you. And by the way, you might think, well, why would you ever show us how money's made? Well, actually, I'm not the first to do it. One of the biggest hedge funds in the world has released videos on how, to, how they make money because we have to explain all of this to our clients. All I'm giving you is what we explain to our clients before they, the pension funds give us money or the high net worths or the family offices. So guess what? We have to do this anyway. Man AHL was one. Let me show you. Let me show you their slides. I've stolen these slides from then. Um, Andrew, the spreads are too wide with uh, uh, with them, with eToro. I think the spreads are just too wide. And you'll get, you saw earlier what happens if the spreads are too wide. You get a bit screwed. Okay. Uh, I've met the team, good people. They'll give you your money back at least, uh, uh, <clears throat> what's left of it. But um, so they're not frauds. They're not crooks. So some brokers are. Some brokers are absolute crooks. Okay. When I was writing my column in Financial Times, I'd get all the inside information about which brokers you could trust, which you couldn't, because their staff would tell me. They'd whistleblow, and I'd write about it. So trust me, one of the great reasons, one of the reasons for writing that column was you really got to learn um, all the inside information. Sanjal, not a problem uh, uh, with them at all. Not a problem. Oh, Sanjay. San Sanjay, I think it might be. Okay. This is actually from AHL, Man AHL. This is... Uh, their actual slides. And this excited me because how often do you get the inside slides of a $19 billion fund? They've actually got more money than that. And they said to explain to their clients how they make money and how to make money from trend following. I told you it's relatively simple. Okay, if the price and time, if the trend's following like this, they've got to make a decision at this point. Do we go long? In other words, do we buy in the expectations the price will move higher and we sell at a higher price? Or do we sell? In other words, we go short, so we sell first and buy back cheaper and make our profits from, again, selling high, buying low, or buying low, selling uh, 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 high. Okay, that's all it is. That's what it is. 
Okay, Amar, they're fine. They're fine. Sanjay, they're fine. Um, so the brokers you guys are mentioning, City Index, CMC, IG, uh, UK regulated, not an issue. Just watch out for the spreads, okay? Uh, uh, and we'll talk more about the brokers uh, in the Q&A. Lots of questions from all of you and about teachers. We'll come to that in the Q&A in a second. I want to give you the strategy now. Don't do it, Chin. All right, do not do that course with that individual. You are going to get ripped off thousands. All right, so you've got this, you've got the minus, you've got the minus, and you've got the plus. All right, this is what they said they do. Uh, okay, this is what they say they do. And I'll recommend your brokers as well if you want at the end. Let me just go through this now. I don't want to get interrupted. I don't want to interrupt my flow. All right, so this is how they explained it. They said, well, if it's just going down and down and down, we'll call it a minus two. And they'll look at every single position. If the market's just falling, 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 they'll call it fully short. Now, obviously, you're going to say, whoa, this sounds too simple. It is too simple. They've just simplified it to explain the principles. And I'll show you my strategies. I don't know what their secret source is. This is just them explaining it. Uh, and if it's going up and up and up, they'll go fully long. And if it's partly, they'll go partly long. And then they'll add to it when they've got some profits, okay, along the way, along the way. So we need to do two things in the final 30 minutes of the webinar. One is the business plan, and secondly, the strategy to enter, and where do we put the stop loss? So let me start with the business plan, and then we'll do the, the strategy for the stop loss, okay? Because you'll have noticed with all of these, whether the signal, you'd have seen a yellow line, okay? That yellow line there is the stop loss, okay? So why did we put the stop loss there. Whenever we're trading, we have what's called, and the secret to all success in trading, and I'll come back to it a little bit later, is we have a volatility-based stop loss. In other words, the more volatile the market, the further away the stop loss. Now, you might do that by a recent resistance level. You might do it based on the average true range two or three times. The average true range, it's the principle that matters. And the further away the stop loss, the smaller the position size, or what's called volatility-based position sizing. Now, that's a lot of information I've just given you. I'll return to it later. But my point with it is, the principle is this. The more volatile the market, the further away the stop loss. The further away the stop loss, the smaller the position size. So you don't risk losing more money if the market's more volatile. How beautiful is that? But hang on, Alpesh. Hang on. Uh, let me see if I can find another one. Uh, yeah, here. Let's have a look at this. Uh, uh, <clears throat> why did we have, what's this dotted line? That is not a take profit level, okay? Because the market can move upwards. That is where we double down in our position. Why do we double down our position? How do we find that? Well, that add position, which we get our computers to write that down for us, is a mirror reflection of the distance to the stop loss. I will come back through all of this, okay? Um, okay. Uh, uh, Kizer, I'll, I'll, or Kaiser, I'll answer that as well. Uh, Anne Royal, I'll answer your question, Anne Saba and Davindra and uh, Emmanuel uh, uh, as well. I'll come to all your questions. Just hang in there, okay? So what happens is uh, uh, we want to. that's a position where we want to add. So we're risking some profits in order to add to our winning positions. Why is that important? Winners add to winners, losers add to losers. Now, if you want to be really risk averse, then you can set that as a profit target. And that is a stop loss. Okay, that's perfectly fine. I'll come back to volatility-based position size. Write that down, VPS and volatility-based stop losses uh, uh, later in the webinar. But that's critical. We've got to have a stop loss because if we don't have stop losses, our losses could be unlimited. But the trick of all the most successful hedge funds I've ever seen, so I didn't invent this. So I'm not telling you things that are my secret source. I just learned this from other people, is is uh, vol is that in terms of stop losses. Now, why have I written Road to Rich? The reason is one of the investors in my hedge fund is a chap called Tom Singh, the founder of New Look. And we were having lunch uh, a, a while ago, over a year ago. And he said to me, because we were talking about the hedge fund, and he said, well, how come you haven't got a billion under management? How come you're not rich? And I thought, you know what? Again, wealthy people just saying it, saying something so crass. And I thought, why don't I say that? Okay, and I explained to him, I said, listen, I go in, you know, Goldman, so who are you going to give your money to, me or Goldman Sachs? And he said, well, yeah, obviously. Okay, that's my mum, by the way, always makes an honorable appearance in all my webinars. Uh, and I've written FX, but actually this applies to any commodities index or whatever. So let's do the business plan, and then how do we know when to enter a trade, the two most important parts of this webinar, okay? First of all, you've got to set your risk capital. Like I said, trading looks complicated because you've got all these mirrors, steering wheel, everything else. But this is what Bill Lipschutz, remember my mentor, global head of foreign exchange at Salomon Brothers in my book, Mind of a Trader. This is what he uh, uh, said to me. He said, look, if you're going to trade for a living, the first thing you need to know is, can you make enough money? And is it going to take too much time? I mean, what's the point of making five pounds an hour? You might as well work at McDonald's. And I wrote about this in my column in the Financial Times. I said, for most people, they spend too much time earning too little. So we've got to, with our small capital, work out how to maximize that return. So Bill said the same to me. He said, before I even give you a strategy, we need to know 
is the business plan right for you? Because trading is the best business in the world, but only if you've got a business plan, like any business plan. So he wrote this. He actually said to me, took me through it, okay? He said, look, first thing, say that your maximum loss is going to be 1% of your total capital, the total risk capital that you have. Okay, now, because this is a business plan, it's about the future. It's not about how much money you've got now. It's how much you intend to get. So let's say you intend to get, because when I was at university, I didn't have 20,000 pounds. I didn't have a silver spoon in my mouth, okay? Uh, I was cleaning toilets to make ends meet, uh, you know, on, as a job on the side so I could put more money into trading, all right? So, but a business plan, Bill Lipschitz said to me, and he was global head of foreign exchange, so I, uh, Salomon, so I really wanted to take notice of him, okay? He said to me, Say you got a total capital of twenty thousand pounds eventually. I said, fine. He said, so your maximum loss per trade eventually will be one percent of twenty thousand, which is two hundred pounds. Your win loss ratio for the moment, assume you're right seventy percent of the time because you've learned the skills, you've become proficient. Although I'll show you how this number is completely irrelevant. Okay, in a second. But assume your win loss ratio is your right seventy percent of the time, and you lose thirty percent of the time. And I went, fine, I'll make that assumption. Make these assumptions for the moment, people. These are stylized, simplistic. Okay, so your average loss is 200 pounds. We're going to pick a strategy where we make more money, money when we win because winners add to winners. Remember, we're going to add to our winning positions because we're going to add to them. We're going to make sure we make more money on balance than we lose when we lose. So although we're losing 200 pounds on a losing trade, we're going to win 300 pounds on a winning trade. Otherwise, we wouldn't pick that strategy. Okay, if we can't get a strategy where we make more when we win, then that's not a good strategy. Now, let's say you do 100 trades, and Bill took me through this. I was at university at the time, okay? So I'm writing all this down while he's speaking to me. And I went crazy. I went, wait a minute, 70 winning trades, 300 pounds profit? Wow, that's 21,000 pounds, whoa. I said, call my parents, tell them I wanna leave university. I wanna just do nothing but sit in my underpants in front of a computer screen, banging away on the keyboard and making money magically appear in my bank account. And he said, hang on, 30, Mr. Simpson, 30 losing trades, 200 pounds would mean losses of 6,000 pounds. I said, yeah, but Bill, I would still be making net profits of 15,000 pounds for every 100 trades. Remember that figure for a second. I know. Uh, don't worry. Okay. And I said, tell my parents, I want to leave university. He said, well, you don't have a strategy yet. I said, no, but Bill, you give me a strategy. Won't you? You're super rich. Why wouldn't you give me a strategy? It's not going to be any skin off your nose. I bet you've got 100 strategies popping out of your bum every morning. Okay. Uh, I said, I'll find a strategy. I'll do 100 signals per day. I'll be a day trader because 20 years ago, being a day trader was the thing, okay? I could get fatter and fatter eating nachos in front of a computer screen. You might have remembered from the day people doing that. Or I tell you what, I'll, I'll okay, I'll do 100 trades per month, I said. I'll keep the day job because, look, if I'm a day trader, I can do 100 trades per week, 50 weeks a year because I'll take two weeks off to drive around in my Lamborghini because I'm a, I don't have a Lamborghini because I'm not an idiot, okay? 100 trades per week. 50 weeks a year, 5,000 trades per annum. Bill, that's 750,000 pounds a year or a million dollars. I know what you're all thinking. Alpesh, oh, don't be stupid. We're not going to do 90% of that. We're not going to do two thirds of that. We're not going to do half of that, a third or a quarter or a fifth. We're not even going to do 15% of that. All right, let's assume I've been totally over optimistic, as was Bill, and we only did 10% of that. Well, 10% of that business plan and you should always decimate any business plan, is 75,000 a year. Well, hang on, that's way, way more than what our goal is. Remember, our goal was 500 to 1,000, okay, 1K per month. So 75,000 is way outside of our goal. You might say, well, that's good. No, 10% of the business plan, it means that, okay, the business plan's worth looking at, but 10% is over-optimistic. Okay, we were making way too much. So let's say we dial it down a bit. Let's say we kept our day job. All right, so you don't leave this webinar and suddenly hand in your resignation. No, you keep your day job because we're going to be sensible. You do 100 trades per six months. And by the way, do you know what 100 trades per six months is? It's one a day. Remember what I told you earlier? We're going to look to do one a day. 15 minutes a day, we scan 12 to 20 products and we look for where are the trends like this, Dow. This is live, by the way. Dow's at 24,320. If you don't believe me, put it into Google. Dow's trading at 24,320 on the uh, December futures anyway, okay? Uh, and what we do, what we do is we pick one trade a day. Well, that would hit our target of 100 trades per six months, 200 trades per annum. But wait a minute, 200 trades per annum is 30,000 pounds per annum based on a net profit of 15,000 pounds per 100 trades. So 75K, 10% of the business plan was too optimistic. Less than half of 10%, so 4% of the business plan, it's still almost three times more than our goal 
So 4% of the business plan is almost three times more than our goal of a thousand months. So you might say, well, why don't you increase your goals? No, business plans are always over optimistic. No business plan in history has ever been correct. So I'd rather look at a business plan and say, hey, you know what? This is worth doing because even if I only hit one and a half percent of it, then I hit my target of a thousand a month. Okay. And remember, thousand a month is never guaranteed. Some months you make more, some months you make less. The months you make more, you save for the months in which you make less. We're never going to try and uh, be right 100%. So I'm going to be right 50 50 or 60 40. And I'll show you the maths on that in a second. In a second. So the next question you should ask me is wait a minute, Alpesh, these numbers look great. If this is true, then how come everybody isn't rich? That's what you should be asking me because that's what I asked Bill. And the key reasons for failure, he told me, were one, bad teachers, two, bad mentors. Okay, and number three, bad strategy. So let's, in the last part of the webinar, do the most important bit, the strategy. How do we know when to enter? How do we know when to enter the strategy? And remember, our goal isn't even this. That's my mum again, by the way. Like I said, every webinar makes an honorable visit. 100 trades per six months, okay, or 200 trades per annum. 30,000 pounds per annum, that isn't our goal. Our goal, remember, was 1K per month, okay? So we know we've got a business plan worth pursuing. So I said to Bill, okay, I need a strategy now, Bill. I need a flipping strategy, which allows me to get in. Oh, by the way, uh, somebody's just asked me, Michelle's asked me about NASDAQ, uh, well-spotted bottom corner. It's been in the news a lot. Uh, NASDAQ, these are our trades. These are our signals. I'll tell you how now in the strategy section, how we uh, get the computer to give us those. Okay, so we had a buy, which didn't really give us much, a sell, which was loss making, and then we had a sell, which did make money. <laughs> all the way down there, brilliant. And then a long trade, which was medium sized, uh, and then a short. So we're short at the moment. Okay, if the price goes down to this level, we will add to that position. The stop loss is here. Why is the stop loss there? Not because we saw a recent high, but because uh, it's based on the volatility, the recent volatility of the market. And it's the principle that matters. I'll talk to you how we work that out later. Um, uh, uh, but that just gives you the principle of how we're trading and what the most recent trades are. And that's how it looks, you know, loss making, uh, medium sized profit, not nothing to write home about. Big win. Okay. Uh, nothing to write home about. So that was rubbish. That was okay. That was okay. This was the big one. And that's where, that's how trading works. Out of four trades, one, two, three, four, five trades, you'll have one or 20%. Look, there's the math. 20% will give you 80% of the profits. And that's fine. We don't have a problem with that because it's how much money you make which matters. And that's, look, that just shows you one image how it looks. And that's great because guess what? I have zero stress doing that. Uh, uh, so how do we know when to buy? So let me show you the strategy, okay? This is how we know when to buy. So I asked Bill, Bill, you're going to have to teach me a strategy. And Bill said, look, Alpesh, you're not going to, you're a poor student. So you don't want to, you don't want to pay for software. You're not, you don't get the money for it. So he said, the one way to measure momentum, he said, look, best for you as a private investor is trend following or momentum trading. Cause it's easier than trying to, you know, I was a student. So I was, I had to do my studies as well. He said, you're not going to be reading all the analyst reports and everything else. He said, what's better for you is to lead, lead your life. Uh, and have as much time as possible to do other things and use momentum-based trading. So I said, well, how does that work? He goes, well, what we do is we measure how close the price closes to the high in any given period because that suggests there's momentum. You know, like when you hear those stories, uh, you see those auctions on TV, I've got 10, anybody give me 20, I've got 20, anybody give me 30, I've got 30, anybody give me 40. That means the price is closing near the high. That means there's momentum. And I said, well, what does that mean? He goes, well, it means that there's a greater probability, not a certainty, that the price will close higher in the next period, and therefore there'll be a trend. Okay, and remember what I said earlier, trend following hedge fund strategies, you know, many years, they're the best performing ones in the world, okay? And people are using computers, and computers beat humans, so we're going to show how, how to use computers as well to do that. So I said to Bill, how am I going to do this, though, Bill? Because what I'm going to do, a magnifying glass? May I have to calculate it manually? He goes, no, there's so much free software out there where you can use indicators which are already free, but use them in a way which the textbooks don't. For instance, many of you have heard of things like the MACD, which measures all of this. There's many indicators which measure where the price closes near the high, but no one indicator works all the time. And we don't want to use them the way the textbooks do. So he said the secret sources is the way we're going to do it is we're going to have three secrets that all hedge funds use. One, they don't use any one indicator. They use multiple indicators. Okay. 
but we use them in a way that the textbooks don't. Otherwise, the textbooks would be the ones who are right. So I'll explain that. The second thing is all hedge funds, they might not use the same indicators, but they use different ones, but they all have, whether it's their own indicators or market available ones, multiple indicators, right? And we're going to look at them across different time frames. And I'll tell you which time frames in a second. So if they're all pointing in the same way, there's an increased probability of a bigger move. Increased probability, write that down, bigger move. Those are the two things we want. Higher probabilities, bigger moves. Okay, because that's the secret source. And number three, the final thing they need is something called PC, which I'll come to in a second. Okay, so what are we doing? We're going to look at multiple indicators. For me, it's the MACD, stochastic, RSI. Now you might say, oh, Pesh, those are freely available. Don't be bloody stupid. No, but I'm going to use them in a way the textbooks don't. So you can see some of them are written up here. What's MACD2? That's the MACD in the next time frame. But all, all that that does is encapsulate it then into one signal. So I'll explain it so you can do this manually. You don't have to do it automated the way I have. So we're short on the Dow, great. We were short earlier, made us money. That's fine. Not every trade makes us money, but on average, they make us money. What we do, and listen to this carefully, when we look at these multiple indicators, we look to see are the multiple indicators, all of which which measure is the price closing the other high, therefore an increased probability it'll move up in the next period. We look to see are they flat to rising? Do you notice that? Is it flat to rising? That's how we're using it in a way the textbooks don't. Multiple indicators, not the way the textbooks do. Are they flat to rising? MACD, stochastic, RSI. And then across multiple time frames. My favorite time frame, and I'll show you why in a second, is the 30 minute and the one hour. So the multiple time frame means is I look at the next time frame along. Are these multiple indicators also flat to rising? Okay, now we used to do it all manually, and you can do it manually. Those are the rules. There's a third rule, which is PC. I'll tell you that in a second. Now we just get the computer to do it for us. Okay, and the computer says, okay, yeah, multiple indicators, multiple time frames, flat to rising, next time frame along, uh, and therefore the trend is likely to go up. Automatically tells us, scans every single, because uh, that's the power of computers, every single currency, 24 seven, every single time frame, and just tells us. We don't like alerts on our phones because then we'd go mental because look at how much of it we like to scan for 15 minutes a day, 12 to 20 products to look for those holy grails, okay? Now, I'll show you how to use that in a second and I'll run through it again. What's PC? It's price confirmation. What's price confirmation? We don't just wanna see our multiple indicators flat to rising across multiple time frames. We wanna see has the price made a two period high? Why? Because that means money from somebody else, Goldman Sachs, whoever, has pushed the market higher. That confirmation reduced the number of false signals, the number of false positives. It increased our probability of success substantially, okay? And because we're adding to our winners, never to our losers, it's allowing us to make more, more money by being right only 50% of the time. Now, listen to this bit. Here's another secret sauce. If, like a coin toss, we get a winning streak, because you could get lots of heads, then we make even more money. If we get a losing streak, because we're already profitable at being right 50-50, if we get a losing streak and we're only right three times out of 10, we haven't actually lost that much, okay? And because we start with a small position and we add to our winners, if we do have a losing streak and we have a string of losing trades, we haven't lost that much either because our position sizes were small because we only add to winners, never to losers. And because we add to winners, we can start with a small position. That is so critical to success. I cannot even begin to tell you. It's those small tactics which make all the difference. Remember what I said, flat to rising, okay? Um, and we want price confirmation. Can you see it? Want the price to make a two period high. Now we used to do it all manually and then we got the computer to program that in and scan everything for us. This is what led me and I created this thanks to Bill and my other mentors when I was at university, Red Carnation meant last exam. So remember I was a student, just a regular person, uh, uh, put those rules together, uh, uh, perfected the strategy, won awards, that's me in the front page of the business section of the Financial Times. What that says is Patel is top FTSE 100 forecaster. Won lots of awards using this methodology. Then the Financial Times said, hey, you're really good. Do you wanna write some books on this? Published by the Financial Times, I said, hell yeah, because that'll give me a profile where I can raise capital for a hedge fund, why not? So I did that and then they said, hey, would you like to write your own weekly column, your diary of an internet trader? Since you're an internet trader and you're good, why don't you write a weekly diary and put your money where your mouth is? And I said, hell yeah, because I know I'm good, I'll happily do that. So uh, over 200 columns in the FT and then I set up the fund uh, thanks to licensing this software to the likes of Merrill Lynch, HSBC, who paid me, them and others paid me, basically it cost a million dollars to set up a hedge fund. That's me in the first set of offices. Um, using the strategy, licensed it like to these guys. They use my photo and all the rest of it and paid me for it. And I used it to uh, uh, set up the fund 
it's very expensive to set up a fund. That's what got me onto TV. And like I said, Tuesday, I'll be speaking at the London Stock Exchange, uh, at Sky News, Bloomberg, all the rest of it. It's because if you're accurate, hey, guess what? People are like you. But guess what? I'm cheating. Am I really accurate? Well, I'm not forecasting the market. I'm not, a, I've got a master degree in macroeconomics. All I'm doing is following a trend, for God's sake. Am I accurate? Cause I know something about, uh, look at that. I know something about Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. So people think I'm really clever. No, I'm not really clever. I don't know anything about Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. All I know is when a, there's a trend and guess what? To even get those trends, um, like this, uh, and the shorts on Amazon, uh, uh it's not rocket science. That to get those trends, we didn't pick the tops and bottoms. We weren't right a hundred percent of the time. We don't need to be making money is about a little at a time. Don't worry, Michelle, Simon, Lisa. Um, who else have we got? We've got Barbara, uh, Peter, Kevin. I'm going to show you how to download Matthew. I'm going to show you how to download it. Um, uh, Abdul, I'm going to Mohammed. I'm going to show you how to download it if you don't want to do it manually. But those are the manual rules. And I was recently I was talking about exactly what we do at TechSparks, um, various technology fora. I'm very fortunate to be able to talk about what we you know, our technology because I want this to be a billion dollar technology. The way I see it, without an indicator, putting all of this together, this is how your trading is. You're having to do it manually, multiple indicators, multiple time frames. Because uh, uh, multiple indica no one indicator works all the time, so you use multiple indicators. We then that put in, put that into one big indicator, okay, which tells us that the market's moving in a particular direction. But it's really price confirmation and multiple time frames which are critical. Uh, when we put it into one big indicator with an indicator, this is what life is like. This is what trading should be like. You automate, automate, automate. I cannot begin to tell you how important it is. We then tra trial this on actual people. Um, regular people before an indicator and after, after in orange. And what we found is their confidence levels in the strategy went up because they had an indicator who told them, yes, now there is momentum. Multiple indicators like the MHCD stochastic are pointing in the right direction, telling us where the stop loss is based on volatility. Notice how on screen, uh, as I showed you earlier, um, notice how on screen, uh, let's have a look at this one, actually. Let's look at Australian dollar, Swiss franc. I'll pull that up because uh, I know that's one of the trades we've got on. Okay. Notice how on screen it tells us when to enter. It also tells us the state of play at any given time. Exit is really simple. If you're not at the screen, you put a trailing stop loss. If you are at the screen, you wait for momentum to run out because this, because it'll tell you momentum's run out. Okay. It tells you when to add to a position, uh, where the stop loss is, where the buy signal is. Okay. Mike, I'll do that. Uh, uh, and what we found is people therefore had lower stress over losses because they knew losses were part and parcel of making profits. They knew they had a business plan because we gave them one. Uh, they had clarity of exits, clarity of entries, clarity of stop losses. I even put together a little training package for them over a 30 day period where they can just get trained up on all of this in case they they still find it too difficult. If they, they think, oh, software is too difficult. So I put that together for them to make sure they had total handholding because I wanted to create a technology which we call the Google of trading. Uh, which I think is going to be a billion dollar technology. Now remember, okay, I've given you the rules of the strategy. Okay, multiple indicators, multiple time frames, flat to rising price confirmation, but not in a way the textbooks use them, flat to rising. Now I said, can I give you right at the end something like what my hedge fund credits? My hedge fund put this technology together because we cheated, we we copied um, uh, 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 the world's most famous hedge fund manager, who is Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos used to work at DE Shaw. He then left that hedge fund to set up Amazon which now it's a trillion dollar business and he's the world's richest man. Hedge fund manager is the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos. But in technology, and I said, well, wait a minute, why don't we do things out of our technology? Why have we got this technology we're using internally? Why don't we turn it into a billion dollar business? We're in the money business after all, okay? So we spun this out as a technology and I wanna IPO this on the London Stock Exchange or NASDAQ, one of the reasons I'm there on Tuesday giving this speech, okay? And we called it Project Pits Predator. I said to my team, call it Project Pits Predator. We think it's the Google of trading because Google, is an algorithm which takes all the data from the internet and gives you information. Well, this is an algorithm which takes all the data from all the price moves and tells you when multiple indicators uh, look like the MACD or the momentum or whatever, okay, are flat to rising and takes all that data from all these sources, all these time frames, just like Google does. And that's a billion dollar technology. And ours is an algorithm. And we take multiple indicators and we call that the PIPS predator. So that arrow, our strategy is called the PIPS predator. I said, put that technology together because like Google, that information is invaluable to people and they should be willing to consider that invaluable. And what this indicator did, our PIPS predator indicator, is it takes those multiple indicators like the MACD stochastic, tells you where the stop loss is based on volatility, tells you how much money to put in based on the risk, monitors all of those, and it tells you when to buy 
uh, when the price goes above the horizontal line can even tell you a signal on your phone or computer or whatever because it confirms this price momentum odds of a profitable move have uh, increased and the arrow alerts you okay to do that now what it also does it tells you look if you risk if you want to risk 100 pounds then do 6.79 pounds a pip all right and you might say no that's too much i don't want to risk 100 pounds or risk 10 pounds uh, risk as in if my stop loss is it fine then do 67 divide that by 10 do you see what i mean and there's brokers which will let you do as little as seven cents or seven pence a point i'll come to brokers in a second now let me show you the most important slide of all which is that i don't worry i'll show you how to download it in a second that was the manual rules if you want to do it manually but i'll show you how to download it okay the one hour time frame is the most lucrative if you've got a day job it's the best time frame because you can spend 15 minutes a day before and after work and guaranteed every day you'll see one out of those 20 uh, products you're monitoring uh, where the price is at the start of a trend and the signal has just come up near the start of a trend okay and we tried this and we showed over um, a, a typical month you'd get about 25 trades okay some months uh, like this time last year when Trump was elected, you might get as many as 40 signals because the market's more volatile. Other months like August, you might get as little as, I don't know, 16 trades. But typically it was 25 trades. And I'm talking about ones we placed. I don't mean ones where a signal comes three in the uh, morning, okay? Remember, there's so many products out there. You don't have to trade every single darn thing. Nobody's got enough money to trade every single darn thing across every single time frame. Look at how many products there are you could be trading. No. Uh, 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 and so it doesn't matter if there's a signal at three in the morning, you ignore it. You're talking about the ones that you see, because we're going to go for quality over quantity. We're not going to be chasing our tails. The net pips captured over those 25 trades, the net pips, that means the winning minus losing trades, winning minus losing was roughly 2,250. However, listen to this. Some months, it might be as high as 4,000. You know, really good months because you get a winning streak. And other months, it might be as low as zero. <gasps> what? There'll be months where you don't make anything. Yeah, yeah. Guess what? Because the months you make more, you save for the months you make less. So you iron it out. Do you get that? You iron it out. The months you make more, the months you make less, you iron it out. Now, the win-loss ratio, the best winning streak we had was 70 out of 100 winning trades. The worst was 30-70, the other way around. 30 winning trades out of 100. I'm going to show you why that doesn't matter in a second. The typical maximum loss before the momentum ran out, the stop loss got hit, was 50 points or pips in the language of the markets. Now, assume you did two pounds a point. It doesn't have to be CFDs or spread betting. It could be options. It could be anything. It doesn't matter what you're trading. It can all be translated into the language of points per pip. That's too big, by the way. Two pounds a point is way too big. Uh, okay, but if you did two pounds a point, you would risk losing a hundred pounds two times 50 or a hundred dollars per trade. That's too much. That's too much. But bear with me one second. Bear with me one second because two times 2,250 net pips captured in a month is 4,500 pounds profit in a month. Well, hang on. 4,500 is 10 times more than the 500 a month. I said we're targeting. We're targeting 500 to 1,000 a month. Let's say we're only targeting 500 a month because we want to be modest. And start slow. That's 10 times more. That's when we knew we had the Google of trading because that meant we didn't have to start private investors, beginners on two pounds a point. They could start with 20 pence or 20 cents a point. And that's what you want. You want brokers who let you trade that small, 20 pence or 20 cents a point. That's critical. Okay, 20 pence or 20 cents a point. Okay, that meant that you could still get your target of 500 a month. You could start modestly and start small and risk small sums of money. You didn't risk 100 pounds on a trade. You risked only 10 pounds. That's great. And then I tell my apprentices who take the indicator, I say to them, listen, this is Rakesh. Okay, uh, I said to them, okay, let's have a look at this. I'm going to show you good, bad, and ugly trades. Okay, send me your trades. I don't care what you're trading, but try and trade the one hour time frame. They rarely listen to me on that. Okay. This was good. That was 193 pips, including additional positions. Remember, winners add to winners, 48 hours, 1,930 pounds. That was a good trade. Well, show some ugly trades, Alpish. I want to show you something bad as well. Look, see, the next trade went nowhere. Doesn't matter because the big trend is the ones we're trying to capture. Let's look at some ugly and bad. Look at this one. That was Seb. Uh, Seb's from, I think Seb's from Leeds. Okay, my hometown. 210 pips, including additional positions, 4,200 pounds, four and a half days. And he's trading a larger size. Why? Because he's been trading long enough to trade a large size. But look at this. Nothing happened there. Nothing happened here. Nothing happened here. Three rubbish trades. And then you get the good one. Okay. And then he doubles down, has some profits. 
Winners add to winners. That's where you made the money. That's how it happens. That's real trading. I, I'm not going to just show you, oh, I was winning, 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 winning. No, three losing trades for one winning. Fine. You're still making enough money because that's where the trends are. That's what real trading is like. The reason private investors lose so often is because they think it's the other way around. They think they're supposed to win all the time and win big all the time. And so they risk big. Okay. If you could win all the time and win big all the time, of course you'd risk big, but you can't. That's why you risk small. Okay. That's real trading. This is Samir. Uh, 523 points, including additional positions, 5,230 pounds. I mean, look, again, started there. Now, the interesting with him is he added to his next position a bit later on. He only got in late. So it doesn't matter that you might have missed because you're supposed to get bigger trends. You might have missed a. A, a, a chunk of it because you weren't at your computer or whatever. The point is you had an opportunity to enter because the price was still near the entry. We don't trade on the basis of, oh my God, you missed it by one microsecond. So you can't get in. No, look, any good trading strategy should give you ample time to enter. There should be a window of opportunity to enter where the price is still near there whilst the, whilst the trend is still brewing, still getting ready. And then you've got ample time because the price is still near the entry to get in. That's what it, that's what, I won't go through all of this. So the key questions people have is, well, wait a minute, can it make money? Well, can I download it? I'll show you how to download it in a second. Can it make money? Is it easy? Well, can it make money? I'll show you some more trades in a second. Is it easy? Yes, you're following when to enter, when to exit. We've got a process now. Follow these trades 15 minutes a day before and after work. Can I do it anytime with a day job? Hell yes. It was created for around a day job. Okay, not only that, I will handhold you because this is my baby and I want more and more people using it successfully. Just like that billionaire Steve Jobs when he launched She's the iPhone, it's him who stands on stage because it's his baby. And if it's your baby and you're proud of it and it's your life's work, my God, you want to speak to the customers and say to them, hey guys, this is my life's work. This is bloody brilliant. How much does it make? Well, it depends on how much capital you have and how much how many trades you follow. But like I said, it's about starting small first. Capital comes when you've got a track record. Okay. Does it make life easier? Hell yes, because that's why we created it. This is the same processes that we use to train new people within my firm. When I start a new trainee in my firm, we use we have to take people. We can't afford to take people from Goldman Sachs because okay, we're too small because we can't afford the salaries. So we take them out of university or college or whatever. So we start them with a thousand dollar account, just a thousand dollar account. Why not more? Well, because it's a my money and b uh, they don't need more money to uh, learn how to trade. And uh, we give them this indicator and we get them trained up. And I'll show you the same training materials. And then it occurred to us one day, why don't we share this with the rest of the world? This could be a billion dollar technology like a Google. Are there checklists and simple rules? I'll give you the same ones I give the trainees in my firm. Okay, we get a lot of people who want to enter the industry or we get people who are retired and say, hey, I want to learn something new uh, and everything in between. This is Stephen Wright, hundred, not the um, disc jockey. People ask me that sometimes. 144 pips, including additional positions. It's the additional positions, which now look, he didn't get in here. Why? Because that was at three in the bloody morning. Got to his desk later and got in there. That's the whole point that you're not supposed to be screen watching. And that's how why 15 minutes a day before and after work, you're still able to monitor the screens and still get in. Okay. Don't worry. You're all screaming at me. I'll show you how to download it. So how do you tell if a strategy is any good? Well, one way is you look and see what some of the world's leading people have said about it. This is what was said about this pit's predator strategy. Gets to the heart of the matter of trading by clearly elucidating the methodologies of successful trading strategies clearly elucidating the methodologies of successful trading strategies. That's the chairman of the Chicago Board of Trade, the world's largest exchange on the jacket cover of my book, Mind of a Trader, Financial Times published book. I'm, this is not Mrs. Smith from Croydon or some actor from Manchester. Mr. Jones from Manchester, oh, yeah, our office is just great. You know, Mr. Double Decker is just great. Mr. Sinter is just great. No, this is actually one of the world's biggest traders saying, clearly elucidating the methodology of successful trading strategies. Okay, Big Scatter, I want people not just to use the software, I want to mentor them for life. You'll have me for life mentoring you by emails, meet me, like I said, on Tuesday uh, at the Stock Exchange, w through videos, I created all these little video snippets, five minute bite-sized videos to train you up, uh, give you a dedicated mentoring website, 30 day and a 12 week course, which you can use. You don't have to trade using that. You can just use the indicator if you want. Trading manuals that we use within the firm, articles on what's happening every week and every day, actually, the trades we're doing. Uh, uh, all bespoke because there's a little online form that I want 
people who download this to fill in. So I know what their strengths are. Like, I want to be your personal trainer. Know what your strengths are in trading, your weaknesses. Are you a beginner? Do you know about technical analysis? Do you know about this? Do you know, have you placed trades before? Have you never placed trades? And also, I'm going to give you for trying this copies of physical copies of my two most recent trading books. Physical copies of my two most recent trading books, which Barclays Bank launched. So it's 50 pounds worth of books, which you can keep just for downloading and using this. Why am I letting people download and use this? Because I want to get the word out. Because the more people who download and use it and say, wow, this is great, the closer we get to a billion dollar business, which is what we want to do to uh, IPO it on the stock exchange or on NASDAQ, okay? Without an indicator, this is what trading's like. You're doing one trade at a time. You're looking at multiple indicators, multiple timeframes, uh, at one at a time. With an indicator, you've got it doing that. That incorporates all of these, and it incorporates the stop loss based on volatility, and it scans every single uh, currency, equity, every time frame, 24-7. And all the data is free for life uh, uh, as well, okay? And... Uh, uh, I'm included in the mentoring. Why would I give lifetime mentoring? Because I know my software works, so you won't need lifetime mentoring. That's why I give it. Uh, uh, with an indicator, this is what it's like. You've got ample opportunities. We automate. Everything in the real world gets automated, so algorithms get automated through robots uh, uh, in this. Uh, uh, but you decide when to pull the trigger. You decide with any broker you want. I'll recommend your brokers if you want when to buy and sell. So you pick and choose how much capital, or you might not. You might not trade at all. You might just monitor it. Okay, my favorite apprentice, this guy. He's actually become my best friend, actually. He was one of the first ones started a few years ago. Uh, 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 he used to work at Barclays. He now lives in Dubai. I love the pit spreads. I now spend most of my time trading. I love that as a novice. I know what to trade when, how much I can leave the exit price and get on with my other work. My most successful apprentice, she used to work for me at my firm, Profinium. She now works at Newton. So straight out of university, she joined me, was my assistant for three years and then joined Newton. And she now manages a billion pounds of assets under management at Newton. Okay, so university, me, Newton, billion pounds under management. She manages more money than I do, but then again, Newton's a bigger name, so she would. Uh, okay, that's my most successful. I'm not going to show you Mr. Smith, Mr. Jones. I'm going to show you. You'd expect me to show you. If I couldn't create people who are managing billions, I have no business being in this business. Okay. What my ambitions are is I want to get to a thousand people using this trained up and profitable. I've mentored and trained about 600 so far. I take them in batches of 25 to mentor them to make sure they're successful because if they're not successful because I just dump them, then that's no good for me. Okay, to make sure they're successful and profitable uh, uh, and they can start tonight, download it instantly, takes 10 minutes to download and install. I take them in batches of 25. I give them my signed copies of my two most recent books so they're happy. And all I ask them is, because we're going to float this technology, is that they speak to the venture capitalists. We're speaking to Google Ventures. We're speaking to um, Amazon Ventures because they both understand data. And we're speaking to SoftBank uh, as investors in this. We t I take them in batch of 25. I've done 600 through the apprenticeship program who download the software, use it, all the training, all the videos and everything else. They don't have to do that. Some of them just download it. They traded before. So they know how to, um, they start immediately. They download it. They're making profits tonight because they say, hey, no worries. I'll just start tonight. Um, okay. But only for 25 at a time. And even better, I give a complete no quibble money, 100% money back guarantee. You don't have it for 30 day, seven days. You don't have it for 14, don't have it for 21, because I don't think that's fair. I think you should have it for 30 days to monitor it, try it. Don't use real capital. If, okay, just monitor and try it. You will get me as a lifetime mentor as well. No quibble. You don't have to send me your trades, nothing else. It's for the first 25 who go there to sign up, okay? It's a no quibble money back guarantee because I want to get to a thousand people. When I get to a thousand people who've been through the program in batches of 25, then we're going to take it to the market. We're speaking to the venture capitalists at the moment. Now, in future, it's going to be 2,000 pounds. Not This won't affect you guys. Once we get past the thousand people, it's going to be 2,000 pounds a year for the uh, 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 mentoring, 2,000 pounds a year for the software. Uh, for now, it is going to be uh, just uh, uh, that one-off fee. It's a one-off fee, includes all the lifetime data, free real-time data, all the mentoring from me and everything else. I'm going to show you the website and everything else in a second. We think this is the greatest piece of software out there. That's why we think it's worth, uh, uh, we think it's a billion dollar business and that's why we're giving it 
uh, uh, two private investors in batches of 25 at a thousand each so that we can then float the company, show to the investors this is something which the world will will take on. Uh, uh, and it could be a billion dollar technology because it's got the algorithms which shows you the trends. That's all it is. I mean, it's pretty simple. But, you know, in a way, so is Google. They're all very simple businesses. OK, they're just a search engine which searches the Internet. As long as in simple terms, it does what people want. That is a billion dollar technology. It's as simple as that. One other thing I want is everybody who signs up. I'm going to, I subject to lawyers approval. I want them to have free shares in the company and for the IPO. So that should help them as well. There's no other fees. Okay. It's one off lifetime, 100% of your profits you get to keep. So there's no subscription fee. There's no monthly fee, no weekly fee, no daily fee. Because people said we don't want to pay anything every day, every week, every month, or every year for mentoring or for data or for the software. No, there are no other fees, no upsells. Okay, you get two of my most recent books to keep, even if you stop within 30 days. Lifetime mentoring. And remember, I'm a public figure, so I'm not going to mess around with you. Okay. Um, if you say, hey, Alpush, I don't want, I don't like it. I don't want to use it. Oh, trading's not for me. At least you'll find out whether trading's for you or not. Okay. I'm a public figure. Come and meet me. See me at the Stock Exchange on Tuesday. Okay. Um, got, got me mentoring you personally, because this is my baby. That's why I limit it to 25 people at a time. Dedicated bite size videos, six webinars each Saturday, 11 a.m. on stop losses, 12 o'clock on entries, one o'clock on limit orders, two o'clock on uh, uh, money management, three o'clock on trading psychology, four o'clock on uh, Mo, your order's gone through. So is yours, Kev, uh, Patrick, and uh peter and barbara they've all gone through you are all in don't worry and i'm excited as well as you sign up let me know you're excited uh, okay i want you to join me on this journey we want to get you to profitability there is a, i'll show you this 12-week course you don't have to do the course but it's part and parcel of it you get access to me daily email pre-market briefing the news that i read if you want it pre-trading uh assessment online so i can give you the questionnaire and see and and do a bespoke uh, education piece for you. So when you go to alpishpatel.com forward slash here, okay, you're going to see this. Okay. Uh, you go to Alpish Patel. There it is. www.alpishpatel.com. Amma, here it is. Okay. There you go. Sorry, I didn't give you the link. Here it is. Alpishpatel.com forward slash. Here. You'll see uh, green padlocks. So your data is secured. Okay. You can use PayPal if you wish. If you're using Amex, you've got to use PayPal. You don't need PayPal to use PayPal if that makes sense. Uh, uh, and then you've got that because some people sometimes they say to me, no, 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 no I want to use, uh, 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 I want to use, um, uh, 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 PayPal. Okay. Um, clear buy and sell signals, all currencies, pairs, Dow, FTSE, gold, oil, stocks, because they all have momentum. PC and Mac, you can use Mac as well. Uh, Portugal, uh, David. Ooh, I'm not sure. It'll tell you in there in the system, uh, the VAT regarding Portugal. I think it is, David, the same as the UK because um, because uh, it's EU. If that's incorrect, I'll happily refund you any of the um, VAT. So don't let VAT ever put you off. OK, we'll happily refund it to you if for some reason it's not the same amount. We get a lot of people from the EU, from America, from Australia as well. There's no ongoing. Oh, by the way, upgrades are free. We're on version four at the moment. I'm about to release version five. So um, the, uh, upgrades are free for life. Why are upgrades free? Because I want to wow people. I'm The business model is the IPO. The business model is the future, okay? Why does it say hurry, you know, 25? Well, because it's lifetime mentoring from me. So I take them in batch of 25. When 25 go through it, I then take on another 25. I don't know when I'm going to do the next batch, okay? In future, it's going to be 2,000 pounds a year uh, for the mentoring, 2,000 pounds a year for the software, okay? There's a 30-day money-back guarantee, um, and it's as simple as that. Uh, approximately 1130 euros, approximately 1300 uh, US dollars plus VAT if applicable, if applicable. OK, let me know as you sign up. I have got in Victoria Joy, you are in uh, Jat, you are in as well. So is Timothy going to give some more shout outs here. No, there are no ongoing fees. There are no upsells at all, my friends. Don't worry about any of that. Let me show you what else you get. You get this wonderful uh, uh, website, okay, which is the mentoring website, right, which goes through all the questions. It's got uh, uh, everything that you'd want in there. We've got a team who can install it for you remotely. If it takes you more than 10 minutes, let me know. These are the past and present clients of my companies, okay? 24-7 uh, assistance, but also just let me know. You can get in touch with me as well. They will install it for you. If it takes you more than 10 minutes, 
Uh, they'll do it. We've got regular people's testimonials. Where are the testimonials? All push. Wait a minute. They take a second to come up. There you go. Okay. Gosh, amazing service. I'll push thanks so much. Actually, at the moment, I'll download TeamViewer, blah, blah, blah. I'm very impressed with the level of help and assistance you're offering. Thank you. And that's the thing. It's really about the service because if you want to get the word out there, you've got to give people service. You've got to give them customer service in modern business. I want to be up there with the billionaires, okay, one way or another. But I'll tell you what the best bit of the mentoring website is, okay? You have got on here, come and meet me at 84 Brook Street, okay, in Mayfair. Go to 84 Brook Street to see me. You've got access to me on email. You've got access to me on Skype. You've got access on the phone and so on. Only apprentices, please. Only apprentices, okay, on that. But it gets better. It gets better. You have also got, uh, there's a 12-week course and a 30-day course, okay? The 12-week and a 30-day course. The tw you don't have to do either course, okay? Um, <coughs> okay. Um, Carl, of course. Carl Philippe, of course. Okay, 12-week course and 30-day course as well. As you sign up, let me know. Niraj, you are through. So is Samir uh, as well. Yes, Richard, I will email you. Upgrades will be sent to you automatically. So don't worry about that. Um, and we are constantly improving and changing things based on the things you want. Uh, okay, brilliant, Amir. And I'm excited as well. Uh, that's what I want. You know what the secret to success is in trading? People who are excited. Okay, people who are excited to be working with me or excited about all of this. And what you'll notice is you've got the Saturday webinars, but I'll tell you what the secret we found to success was, was getting people to open up the mentoring questionnaire so it was customized and bespoke and giving them cheat sheets. So when they fill in this, apprentices fill in this uh, questionnaire, I can see bespoke what their strengths and weaknesses are. So I can then tell them, hey guys, Focus on this bit, do this, do that. Now, one of my best apprentices, she is absolutely amazing. Actually, let me show you what she sends me each uh, week. And you don't all have to do this. Uh, let me see if I've got it here. She sends me this phenomenal, phenomenal uh, spreadsheet every single week. Here it is. I'm going to see if I can pull this up. And uh, she's great. And she's She'll show me the trade. She's, now, you don't have to do this, by the way, but this is like hardcore, okay? She'll so show me, you know, the trade. Now, she's trading small, okay? So don't be put off. And some trades are break even and all the rest of it. But she's a complete novice and beginner. And she goes to this level of detail. And I love it. And she'll show me the trades and she'll say, this is great. Got good profit, Alpesh. I followed the trades, followed what you said. Now, everybody doesn't have to do that. But that's the level of mentoring we give if you want it. Some people, they download the software. They start trading immediately. They say, I don't want any mentoring, Alpesh. I don't want your courses. I don't need any of that. And I say, hey, that's fine because you're already uh, uh, sophisticated at trading. And if you're sophisticated at trading, then um, that's perfectly fine, okay? The other thing we found which accelerated people's learning was the cheat sheets, which I give in the 30-day course, um, okay? Uh, uh, which was this, uh, how to place trades in quick, easy steps. So all these, this allows you to learn in your own time, at, say three in the morning if you're, I don't know, we get some people say, oh, but can I learn at three in the morning? Can I learn at four in the morning? And I said, you can learn whenever you want because the cheat sheets do that. But also there's this amazing support site we have. Plus you can just ask me the questions. So the cheat sheets will show you how to place the trade and so on. That was critically important. If you didn't know how to place the trade and have these cheat sheets, people couldn't learn. But it got even better than that. I then decided I'm going to create a, 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 a sort of a, a community membership site, which is free to all the apprentices, which gives all my latest views, all the admin stuff. And it allows you to search things like, um, I don't know, uh, blah, 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 average true range. Okay, you can put that in and it'll allow you to search you know, what the arrows mean on the average true range and so on. But also my latest views. So what I wanted people to have is I wanted them to get every other day. We used to do it every day, but actually we realized every day was just getting too crazy. Every other day, um, give people what our top picks are at the moment. Okay, uh, uh, what we're looking at, what trades Every single, every other day, you're getting these live trades as well, okay? Uh, as well as, of course, you get to see what news I'm uh, reading each morning. Plus, on top of all of that and access to me and the indicator and the software, there's also a 30-day uh, training course. I mean, you can take as long as you want over it because everything's uh, there for life. Jonathan, everything's for life. Don't worry. There's no upgrade cost. There's uh, no other upsell cost. There's no data cost. 
Uh, it's all included. Alan, you are in. Uh, Bernie, you're in as well. Uh, you can start with as little as a thousand dollars. Actually, I recommend starting just monitoring the markets instead. First of all, module one, we go through modules. I've written all of this. I've done all of this. Okay, in bite size, five minutes, 14 minute videos, and so on. And the reason I've done it like this is that you can look at it in your own time. It's so important and you can fit through it. Now, the reason this is important, this is critically important, is because if people don't have small, easy manual um, modules, they don't feel they're learning. And at the end, they get a certificate. They can go to my LinkedIn profile. They'll see I'm the real deal. Okay. Uh, and let me show you that, actually. Let me show you that um, as well. Oh, and you get my monthly newsletter. We also do a monthly newsletter as well. Uh, uh, so you've got all of that. You've got a trader's community. You can ask all the questions you want, and I answer them all. Okay, so you know that the answers are accurate. But also on here, as well as this 12-week course, all of this material is there for you. I mean, you don't have to use any of it if you don't want. But what I say to all my apprentices is join me on LinkedIn. And the reason I say join me on LinkedIn, first of all, you'll see I'm the real deal because you'll see through my connections. Oops, where have I gone? Where have I gone? Come on, Alpesh, come back. Uh, there we go. You'll see on LinkedIn I'm the real deal. For, why do I keep doing that? Uh, 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 that I'm the real deal. And that allows you therefore to verify okay all the other bits that i do um founder of profinium my asset manager i sit on the downing street entrepreneurship advisory group and so on and all the the sort of the stuff that i'm doing um and the reason this is important yeah and i hang around with uh, the governor of the bank of england well anytime i get any good tips like from the governor of the bank of england ha he didn't give me any by the way <laughs> just in case you're wondering uh, i will definitely let you guys know and i share that with the apprentices but also i say to all my apprentices join up with me on linkedin because if you uh, join up with me on linkedin i'll introduce you to anybody to help your trading career sometimes people get this for their kids because they say hey uh, it'll steven you're in um uh, kirit you're in as well so is uh, P, so uh, just the letter P um, as well. Thomas has asked, how do we pick a time frame to trade? What about deciding how much money to trade? Actually, Barbara's got another question. When to add to our profitable positions? Well, actually, uh, the great news, Tom, Barbara, um, Jill, <clears throat> the indicator is very simple. It gives a very simple guide as well. I created a, a, a guide, which I give you all. So don't worry. The guide will, uh, it's a manual which will take you entirely through it all in any event. So you don't need at any given point to actually even worry about that because the manual plus you've got access to me at any given point, okay, uh, uh, as well. And just to reiterate those points, uh, Pratik, you asked about this, no repeat or subscription costs. There's no hotel costs. You're not having to learn at some stupid hotel and have all the travel costs and then only have the guy teaching you for a weekend. You've got me for life, okay, mentoring you. No screen saver because I want the more people who are successful, the more valuable our business is, okay? Um, I will, George. I'll send you the details about Tuesday as well. I'll make sure everybody's got that. Uh, as well. Thank you very much, my friend, because you can come and meet me at the London Stock Exchange, okay, uh, and see more, uh, you know, see me in person, basically. Uh, and people said, we want somebody who is endorsed by the Financial Times and Bloomberg. Well, actually, Bloomberg, I had my own TV show. So they used to pay me Financial Times for my own column. That's important. When you're looking at these teachers, and uh, earlier people asked me about people like Winters and Secker, and I'd say, listen, are they FCA regulated hedge fund managers? Um, are they paid by the Financial Times and Bloomberg TV, the two most reputable financial names out there? Are they good enough? If they're not, why are they teaching you? Because if somebody isn't good enough to have that, why are they teaching you? Okay, if I want to break it down into six simple things, you guys should have the best, all right? And I, I you know, I'm going to say it the way the owner of Apple would say his phone's the best. I think this is the best software out there. All right, I think it's the best software. You go there to download it, to take 10 minutes to install. If it takes longer, we will do it for you. Let me repeat that. If it takes you longer than 10 minutes, don't try and do it yourself. We'll do it for you. Follow the signals, trade through any broker you're happy with or ones we recommend. Look at the mentoring site, videos and webinars if you need any uh, help at all. Um, James, have a look at this. James came in late. Have a look at that link, okay? Um, and you will see um on the trading how we mentor people and so on so yeah you can download it instantly you've got full customer support uh, uh, uh there's a 24 hour phone number where well, obviously if i'm sleeping i'll get a message and i'll get in touch with you asap simple short trading manual because i thought you know the more people let me tell you the maths the more people who are profitable with this software okay and with the 
Because some people say, oh, I just don't want the software. I want it to be handheld, Alpish, by you because I'm a total beginner. Okay, and I say, hey, that's fine. And others say, well, Alpish, I don't know. I still, I'm not clear in the manual what to try. I say, hey, listen, you've got me. Let's talk. Okay, me mentoring you. Showing you how to set it up like this. So you don't have to worry. You never have to be overwhelmed. You never have to be overwhelmed. Plus, you've got the 30-week course, the 12-week course, and you've got the software doing all of that. And you've got the videos as well. Plus, me is the most important thing. People go, oh, I don't want to disturb you. Please disturb me. You're an apprentice. The more, and, and I learned that from the government. You know, billionaires take on apprentices. Donald Trump has the apprentice program. Lord Sugar has the apprentice program. These are billionaires. Why not have the apprentice and then use that to create a software which is as big as Google, float the company on the stock exchange. Like I said, it's why I'm there on Tuesday. Two signed books. Keep those. Why am I giving my books away to people who download the software? Well, because the happier you are, hey, just for trying me, trying the software, doing me the honor of trying it, the better for me. Customized trading videos for you on, on, on that lifetime mentoring, part of the trading club. I will do whatever the hell it takes to make you profitable in the easiest, simplest way possible. Live webinars every week as well, in case you can't reach me. Uh, Skype access, email access, come and meet me. I can't do more than that. I will bend over. The software and data is free for life. Exactly, Emmanuel. Um, exactly correct. Emmanuel, I'm glad you asked because sometimes, even though I repeat it, people don't, um, don't sort of get it. Uh, and that's fine. I'm glad you asked, my friend. Uh, let me put the video on there. You can see me. Apologies for my cold, okay? So basically, I made it into a risk-free investment because it's 30 days money-back guarantee. You get to keep my books, two books anyway. Why? Because if you're that confident, look, this is the iPhone. If you're that confident about your product, if you're that confident about your product, this is what you would do. You would stand by it. And that's the only way uh, somebody can stand by it. And like I said, stand by enough. Come see me at the London Stock Exchange, 5 p.m. Tuesday. I'll send you the invite. You need the invite to register first uh, for that uh, with the Stock Exchange for security reasons. It's the London Stock Exchange. You know, um, they need to make sure you're not a criminal. <laughs> um, there's no upsells. You need to know, um, uh, Abdul, there's no upsells. That's the final. And the reason for that is I want people to be delighted. There's no monthly costs, no daily costs. Uh, the data, real-time data is all in there uh, for life and all the rest of it, because many brokers offer the real-time data and so on. And mentoring is from me. There's For future, not for you guys, but for other people, when the business goes global, the technology goes global, other people, not you, will be charged £2,000 a year for the mentoring, £2,000 a year for the software, but not you guys. This is a one-off fee, because this is the first 1,000 charter members. We've got about 600 who've gone through the program. Oh, by the way, 10% give up in the first 30 days, in case you're wondering numbers. 90% stay on. How quickly do they get to profitability? It depends on how quickly they learn to drive. What we found as a good rule of thumb is if it took you a week to learn to drive, it'll take you a week to get to profitability. If it took you six years to learn to drive, it might take you six years to learn this skill, because it's how quickly your brain learns new skills, okay? Um, what else? What else? I've got a note here. Joseph, you're through. Michelle, you're through as well. Those have all gone through. Um, Ronnie's just asked, how much can each uh, trade make? Well, it all depends on uh, how much capital you start off with and how frequently you trade. Don't go into a rush, okay? Uh, uh, Emmanuel, there's no upsell for new features that we may add. We're not in the bullshit business. Um, we add new features all the time. You know one of the, the latest new feature we added? Uh, we give our trades every other day what trades we're looking at. It used to be daily. We might revert back to daily, um, but uh, it was overwhelming some people. Um, uh, Mike, no worries. I'll hold a place for you. If anybody needs me to hold a place for them, uh, I'm happy to do it for a couple of days, okay, or until Tuesday when you meet me, but um, ugh, I'll limit the number. No upsells for new features. Yeah, some people, they do that, don't they? Absolute con artists who do that. They say, oh, you're not profitable. Oh, don't you know you've got to uh, 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 pay for this bit and this bit and this bit? No. And not only that, every week uh, I'll upload more articles. I might do more videos. That's all part and parcel. That is all in there, my friends. That is all in there. Okay? So when you go through all of that, it is all in there. Um, whenever I upgrade new videos, more articles, why? Well, because why would I want to keep charging you? I want you to get to profitability. If you get to profitability, okay, the more capital um, that I make, because you're profitable, we've got one more person uh, uh, on our road to a 1,000 who are going to make uh, uh, us profit and show, show uh, the rest of the world this is the Google of trading. 
Okay, so when we take you through, and you don't need to be taken through this, but when we take you through all of this, our simple goal is to get you to profitability, okay? There is no upsells, there's no, I'll say this again, no upsells, no upgrade costs. We're on version five. Ask all my apprentices, if they've never been chatting. They sometimes ask me, oh, I want to, can you make this change? And we make it, go, how much do I have to pay? And I said, nothing. We're not in the business of that, okay? Um, uh, oh, David, don't worry. I will sort that out. If it says anger GB, not to worry, we can sort that out for you. Um, and it doesn't have to be that broker. There's lots of brokers, David. Email me. We'll sort it out. If you've just signed up, I'll have your details in any event. So I'm going to email. Oh, by the way, all apprentices, you're going to get my private personal email with all the login details again. So we're in communication right now from today. The learning starts straight away. You're going to get an email. Just give me about five minutes after this webinar just to have a cup of tea, if you don't mind. Uh, okay, so look, we've just got a short signal, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. Okay, that's right now. Okay, you can see the price is right. So you can monitor that live because remember earlier we had the long signal. I showed you Australian. Okay, Ugh, let me move that back. Okay, so that's that's right now. That's live. That's happening. Okay, that's real. Uh, and maybe that we'll talk about tonight when we're on email. Emmanuel, delighted you've signed up, my friend. Absolutely over the moon. I am excited as well. Uh, who's asking the q &A? Um uh, I want to know where to put the little red and green light. Oh, they just appear. Uh, D Donald, if you don't understand, let me know. They just appear. Now, notice how with the software. Tells you when the momentum is down. Notice we don't get in at the tops because that's a that's a high-risk trade to get at the top. It's a lower risk to get in after the trend has already started on the coattails of someone else. The stop loss appears. It shows you the stop loss every time because it works it out, calculates it. For any product you're looking at, every time frame. Okay, you might look at different time frames. Now you might say, oh, but hang on. How come you're giving us your secret source? This isn't my secret source. Okay, this is built on other people who've done uh, uh, amazing stuff. Okay, oh, Robert, no worries. Just email me. No, Asad, delighted. I'm excited you're excited. Excitement is the key. Passion is the key to success in anything in life. Passion is the key. Asad, I'm delighted. Emmanuel, I'm delighted you're on as well. Now, I don't know anything about Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, but I'll tell you what my fa oh, duh. Let me tell you what my favorite things to trade are. Write this down. Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. Don't ask me why, but it just tends to be smoother. Maybe because the rest of the world doesn't focus on it that much or the big banks don't fight over it. it tends to be a lot easier to trade. DAX. I don't know whether it's the Germans or whatever it is. Sterling yen. I don't think I've got sterling yen up here, but it's one of my most favorite. Actually, to be honest, virtually anything with Australian dollar. Look at this, Australian dollar, Swiss franc. Okay. Uh, you can see it hit our profits, uh, uh, adding to our winning positions almost straight away. And that's how we do it. Um, uh, yes, Carl, I'll do that. And by the way, um, uh, email me, any of you who want the uh, invitation, the London Stock Exchange invitation. There'll be canapes and stuff as well on Tuesday when I'm going to be speaking there. All right. Cause I want to meet some of you guys as well. You know, I really want to meet you guys. Uh, so London stock exchange, 5 PM to 8 PM, uh, canapes and all the rest of it. And you're going to see, I'm going to give a keynote speech for 90 minutes, lifting the lid on trading on the markets and Brexit and all the rest of it as well. So many of you as possible can make it this exclusive to just the people who are on here. Okay. Uh, really, uh, welcoming you guys onto there because that's the kind of service I believe in. When you believe in your software, you believe that you're on a road. It sounds stupid initially. Oh, we think we're going to be a billion dollar business. I know it sounds stupid, doesn't it? Well, you know what? If you didn't have the ambitions, you'd never get anywhere in life. And even if we don't get there and we're only worth a hundred million as, uh, as a company, I don't care. And by the way, it's not about making the money. It's about just making sure whatever you do in life, you give it everything. That's what it's about. Okay. For me. Okay. NZ starts. Uh, Kyle, Sunday night before and after, um, and we can discuss all of that. Oh, uh, and I'll tell you what else I like to trade. Um, if I've got long positions on companies that I like for the long term, like Amazon, um, Facebook, Google, Apple, then I like trading short in the short term because those short term short profits mean that my long term positions are then free. They're completely free because they're paid for it. Oh, and cryptos, love cryptos trading short. I love the short side of cryptos because the shorts happen all the time. Like I said, the DAX, there you go, just tends to be smoother. Now, these are the DAX trades. Now, that one didn't make us, look, let's be absolutely honest. I don't want anybody thinking, oh, oh, how come it isn't right all the time? Yeah, look, nothing there. Made the money on that one. Nothing really there. And then a little bit here. Guess what? That's fine. That's fine. That's what real trading looks like. 
that's what real trading looks like. It looks like you're profitable, but not 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 witchcraft where you get in there and got out there and got in there. Oh yeah, I wish, I wish we could do that, but nobody has um, a a crystal ball to be able to see the future. Now, guys, I'm gonna have to go. I think there's a couple of licenses left. I'm gonna have to go. Uh, actually, there might not be any left. Um, if there aren't, I'm really sorry. I don't know when I'm gonna be coming back to do more. I apologize if there's none left. Ahmed, I've got to go. Delighted. Uh, 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 I'm delighted you're an apprentice. Uh, 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 okay. Um, and uh, really excited the opportunity to use such great software. Good, 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 good. All good. <coughs> Excuse me while I cough. I really better go. Apprentices, you're all going to get an email, okay, uh, uh, bringing you back uh, all the logins and all my personal details and summarizing everything so you've got access to absolutely everything that I've just mentioned, okay, and access to the club and all the rest of it. I actually want people to have more things than they'll ever need. Uh, and the reason for that is if you're successful, hey, guess what? My software's successful. My software's successful. We're going to float the darn thing because uh, uh, that's the thing. That's what happens with fintech. I don't know how much you know about fintech, but that's what happens. And don't forget the Saturday webinars. They're only for apprentices, uh, I'm afraid, Jimmy. Uh, they're only for apprentices every Saturday uh, from 11 a.m. till 4, but they're recorded. So if you can't make them on Saturday, so you've got another route of staying in touch with me as well, okay? Um Takes 10 minutes to download. Uh, uh, Schmo, Schmo, odd name. Takes 10 minutes to download. Uh, Paul, uh, what does an order number look like? We can give you a VAT invoice if you want. Don't worry about that. Yes, I do all the mentoring, uh, Kylie. I do all the, me sorry, Kyle. I do all the, there's two Kyles on here. That's odd. Um, where should I send it to and on Tuesday? I just send it to me. I will. Let me send you. Uh, Mike, I'll reserve a, a, a license for you. No worries. Uh, for anybody who wants me to reserve a license for whatever reason, printing list, uh, uh, okay, uh, <clears throat> send me an email. And if you'd like an invite to the London Stock Exchange uh, as well, just send an email uh, to that address, uh, And I for both reserving a license uh, in case you're not getting it straight away, uh, and also for Tuesday's event, and let me know which one, what you're doing for which one. Okay, I better go. Uh, oh, somebody has just asked me how my students performing. Well, look, as you've seen, um, some of them are doing incredibly well. 10% give up of the remaining 90%. Some are just using the software alongside their own trading techniques. Some are using TradeStation alongside this, and that's fine. And some are already profitable, and this has helped announce profitability. Others are complete beginners, and have got to profitability as the Excel spreadsheet of the one I just showed you. Some are trading with very small amounts. Some are trading with quite large amounts. 10% are trading with significant amounts uh, uh, over there as well. So we've got a whole gamut. Some take three months, six months to get to profitability. Others, they're already profitable. Others started from scratch and have become profitable within as little as a week. Um, so you, as you can imagine, it's like a classroom. You've got a whole gamut of people. Um, Emmanuel, that's fine. If you've already got a broker, continue using your broker. If you've all... Um, uh, Kyle, the license is for uh, the software and all the education. Um, so the license is for using the software and all the education, and it's a license for life as well. So the license, Kyle, is for this, the Pitts Predator, that indicator. You show it how it shows you when to go long and short. Okay, thanks, Richard. Thank you, my friend. Really appreciate it. So it shows you how to go short or there long and shows you where the stop loss is uh, <clears throat> and the odds are in your favor and when to add to a winner. That's the dotted line there. And the second one to add even more tells you the maximum loss, the stop loss and take profit levels. If you want to take profit, uh, 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 it's for all of that and for all the training that goes with it. If you want the training, which includes, you know, testing your knowledge, hot tips, little videos, review slides, all of this um, in modules, module two, module three, trading strategy for profits, trading strategic breakouts, other strategies as well, you see, not just mine, all in there. And you can use that. Look, some people, they get the indicator, they keep the books, they take all the education material over the 30 days, they ask for their money back. I don't care, okay? Others, they do it, they make the money, and they say, hey, I made the money back. The indicator is basically free because I made the money in 30 days. Entirely up to you how you want to uh, 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 do it. Others say, look, I've looked at it, trading's not for me, and that's fine. That's fine. 
Okay. Uh, okay, listen, guys, I'm going to have to go now because I've got my apprentices to take care of. Apprentices, I'll see you on the other side. Absolutely delighted. We've had so many enthusiastic people. Enthusiasm and passion is the key metric. If I could monitor, okay, what led your apprentices, trading apprentices, to be successful? It was enthusiasm. It was passion. Honestly, it, it's a funny thing. It's in everything in life. It's always the same darn thing. Um, and therefore, I shouldn't be surprised. But if you know, people often ask me, what are the key characteristics? How will I know if I'll be successful? And don't forget, when they go through the online course, they're filling in the um they're filling in all the uh questionnaires because we use google forms and i get the questionnaire so i see with all my apprentices like a personal trainer i get to see what their strengths weaknesses are and so i can advise them and what we discovered and and this was the beauty of it uh when they go through the course uh and i do that bespoke training for them uh, what I discovered, they go through all of this, and you know, sometimes they say, oh, I'm too busy to trade. Guess what? I've got a little video for you on that. So this 12-week course on there, which is part of that, is that when you show them all of this, they go, oh, hang on. You've just answered all my questions. Oh, mentoring exercise. Great. Um, uh, oh, how to set up the screen. Oh, you've answered that. That's great. Great. Shepstone, just email me. Uh, anybody who wants an invite for Tuesday, just email me, and I will send you the invite for Tuesday at the London Stock Exchange. And um, anybody who wants me to reserve uh, the indicator, let me know. Apprentices, we are going to uh, get in the money business. As soon as I finish this, you're going to get an email. We're going to look at FTSE. We're going to look at, um, I don't know, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar maybe. Yeah, we're in the money. Now, look, I said that was live, okay, on air. So you've got to see that earlier. All right, we're in the profit, so that's a short trade. Uh, okay, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's early days, but it's good to show you on air live. This is how it works. And the great thing about the indicators, you can do other things because what it does is by following those trends and finding those, uh, uh, what it allows me to do, uh, for instance, like um, the DAX, what it allows me to do is give a webinar to a bunch of people whilst at the same time doing that. Um, a -E -A -E -S -C. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you all for uh, being here. I am going to uh, turn off the screen share for a second. Okay, turn off screen share so you can just see me. Just want to say goodbye to everybody. Apprentices, delighted you're on. I'm over the moon. Look forward to teaching you. Look forward to meeting those of you who can make it to the London Stock Exchange on Tuesday for being there. Like I said, I want to float the technology, which is one of the reasons why um, I'm going to be speaking there. Uh, and I'm going to lift the lid on my 90-minute talk on uh, hedge funds, Brexit, Trump, and all the rest of it. So I'm going to add a whole load of material. Uh, and we're going to do some live trades. Oh, we're gonna, I forgot to tell you, on Tuesday, I'm going to do some live trades in front of people as well. Okay, so if you can, come along on uh, Tuesday. And I'll see you there. Apprentices, I'll see you shortly uh, on the other side. Thank you all very much for being here. And... Um, uh, yeah, thanks, and I'll leave you with the uh, 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 the screen, if I can. Where's it gone? There it is. Is that the screen? Uh, I'm going to try the screen share, and um, there you go. So hope to see more of you on the other side. Thanks, everybody, very much indeed.